On today's stream, I read even more of your guys' weird confessions. And trust me, this time they were even weirder. And also almost all to do with pee. I don't know if you remember, but a few months ago, I put out this tweet asking for you guys to send me your deepest, darkest confession. And I received thousands of them. You guys have guilty consciences. This is now the second stream where I went through and read some of these terrible, terrible confessions. And trust me, I judged you harshly for them. And also, because I felt comfortable, I made a few confessions of my own as well. So, if that sounds up your street, please feel free to subscribe. I do plenty of these interactive type streams on my Twitch, but if for whatever reason you can't catch them and be involved live, subscribing to this channel means you'll never miss them when I re-upload them here. So, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. I'm gonna start with confession 169 because I found that quite amusing. Uh, it's very simple. It simply says, One time I pooped on the bathroom floor Eight of a skate park. Pause, don't know. For the thrill of it, one time I pooped on the bathroom floor of a skate park for the thrill. <laughs> it's so fucked! The thrill! That is a weird fetish. You're strange. You're strange. You're weird. Right? I don't know anyone that weird. The thrill of it. Why did you confess your weird sexual fetish to me? That's definitely a thing. And instantly, the next one, I shat while in the bath. I was six and wasn't bothered to get out of the bathtub. Hey, just wanted to let you know that we share the same birthday. I am turning 17 though, haha. -ha. I thought you said I'm turning 17 too, and I'm like, I'm a little bit older than you. Happy birthday for the 14th. I'll be live, don't worry. I've got, I've got something cool. Anyway. I shat while in the bath once. I was six and wasn't bothered to get out of the bathtub. That's kind of fucked up. I once, at uh, approximately two or three years old, uh, this might range up to five. My mum's probably going to message me in a minute and tell me I was like seven, but I believe I was at most five. Shat in the bath. I was but going to save this for your birthday, but I am impatient. <laughs> Bless Happy you. One year boss man. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you for the laughs and creating the best community. I am so very grateful. That's really sweet. Thank you so much, Soph. I appreciate it. Thank you for 12. But anyway. <clears throat> someone put in chat i still shit in the bath all right then we'll ban that person uh but no someone said i shat while in the bath once because i did that once at like probably like five oldest but it wasn't on purpose i i, my, I asked I, my mum tells me that apparently i went mum can i pee in the bath i can't be bothered and peeing's a much more normal peeing in bodies of water is normal and then my mum went of course and then i proceeded to pee but actually just push out lumps of shite uh, at which point, uh, m my brother was whipped quickly out of the bath because he was an infant child, uh, and I, um, accidentally shit. They shat on purpose, which is weird. That's weird. I would never shit anywhere but the toilet on purpose. I'd only ever shit elsewhere accidentally. You know? I'm not a- I'm not a purposeful shitter. I never do something evil like that. I'm just not that type of guy. Anyway, the uh, next one, you're all saying you right now. The next one's even more disgusting. I use light mode for literally every single app on all my devices. Confessions like that make me wish I'd gathered the emails of the people that had sent them so I could ban them from every platform. I would literally message support and have you reported and banned. That's disgusting. Anyway. <clears throat> Even the thousand bits, clown rot. When I was like six, I drank all the ink out of a marker. I don't know why I did it. Oh, what did that do? What did that do to you? What the fuck? My deepest secret has got to be that I watch Jack Manifold. It's a disgusting truth. Happy 17 months. Fuck you. No one should be ashamed of that. I'm the best content creator. My content is the best. Fuck's sake. Happy last week of being a teenager, Jack. Thanks for a fun 11 months less than three. Oh, fuck. It's like the first time I thought about that. Why the fuck would you say it? Oh, shit. Alicia, thank you. But also, fuck I you. Why would you remind me? I only subscribe to give you game recommendations once a month and then leave smiling. That's things. fine. I still get the money. Thank you so much for the eight months. Why would you remind me that I'm only a teenager for... Fucking... Five more days. Oh, I'm having like an existential crisis. Dude, why the fuck would you say that? That's fucked. It's really- that's fucked up, man. Shit. Wait, hold on. I need a second. Fuck. I'm fucking old. Stop spamming old. Stop it. No, Philza's old. I'm young. Philza is 3-0. I'm 2-0. That's okay. 
I'm double digits. I'm just hitting double digits. You're allowed to be double digits. <sighs> Fuck! Wait, hold on. I need to... I was fine when I drank it, by the way. It was one of the small ones. That's still fucked up. Anyway, please, let me have my moment. I'm grieving my teenage years. Wasted. Studying. Being bitchless. Maidenless. Sorry, it's a friendly term. Playing Minecraft. Fuck, I mean, the, the last two things probably correlate. I'm old, man! I wasted my youth making millions! I should have been having fun drinking alcohol! Admittedly, I do that last thing frequently, but. Fuck! Never was just a hey, myself! I'm over it. I'm an adult now. I'm a big man. I'm a big man. I'm over it. Don't care. Gonna make more millions. Gonna make more money. Doesn't matter to me. Old Ark. Wait till I come back Sunday, balder. More lines in my forehead. And trust me, there's not much more room. I look like Gordon fucking Ramsay. Anyway. Stevie. In year four, a boy on my table was clanging the tables together annoyingly, so I put my arm between them and it pinched me, so he got in trouble. Surely that just hurt you, though. I feel like you could have just been like, Miss, he's being annoying. Can you ask him to stop instead of putting yourself in harm's way and then fucking going, Ah, it hurt me. Like, I, I, I admit it's probably more effective, but I try method one before trying method two, you know? Like, I, I don't really understand the... Oh, it, like, imagine if I was like, that car's really annoying. Like, imagine I'm like, I live near a fucking highway. Like, like, like I live in the center of Brighton. I don't, but like, say I do. And like, all I hear all night is cars. And I'm like, I don't know. Let me throw myself in front of them so all the traffic is halted. That will be the solution. Like, yeah, it fucking works. But it, like, it isn't the, the, like, the most logical solution. You can try other things. You know what I mean? Like, it's... You know, you don't have to jump to the extremes. All right, they're all just putting all default. I don't give a fuck. Kai Cat, thank you for the pound. Ain't you Nathaniel... All right. That Nathaniel B shit is fucking crazy to me. Why did he think that Matt old is in your name? Well done, geniuses. Well done. You just proved you could read. My God. I really... Um... Who's ringing my doorbell right now? Wait, what the fuck? Hello? Hold on. Oh. I forgot I lived with a person for a second. It's for Scott's major. I kind of forgot. Kind of forgot that I had housemates. And by that I mean one of them. And his name's Scott's major. Anyway. Guys! Speaking of that, I'm actually about to have a new housemate soon, which is very exciting. He might be on a stream. Anyway. <laughs> kind of feel a little bit bad. I forgot about the evil Scott's major, but we're going to move on. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. You turned 20 it's in a week. Okay, Jack. I turned 20 a week after Thank you. Two. Thank you, Boneology. Best of luck. I hope you don't go through a crisis like I will. What's Jack, this? How are you so old yet young at the same time? Happy early birthday, IG. What does Happy that mean? I love you less than three. I'm not old. I'm 20. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm 90. I'm like, I'm 19 and three quarters. Like, I, I'm not old. I am young. I've got an old brain. I'm mature. That's what people tell me. Congrats on avoiding teen pregnancy. I just... <laughs> I'll give you my top tip. You know, celibacy. It's a great thing. Uh, I definitely uh, took that pledge, uh, you know, intentionally. And uh, it, it avoided all the pregnancy that I could have ever been near, even. So, uh... I'd recommend that, uh, you know, I definitely, you know, went through it. I, I chose to do this uh, and it's been great, you know. Uh, praise be to the Lord in that. Thank you for the 100 bits. What does that say? Uh, Father Jack, I know that you'll ban me for this, but 22 years ago I was adopted and now as a Taiwanese tradition, I don't know if my mum wants to see me. 
What? What? I know that you'll ban me for this. Why would I ban you for... What? I don't get it. I'm not Taiwanese. So the, the guy nudged me and said, like, hey, you know, you know that old Taiwanese tradition we all know about? I'm like, I'm British and white. I don't know. I'm like the, 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 the whitest person there is. I don't, what, what do you mean? I don't know Taiwanese tradition. Jet Manifold banning adopted children. Oh, do you think it's that? Do you think they just want? Do you think that they just know about the fact that I ban all the orphans in the chat? Hey, anyone who's Taiwanese, what's this tradition? I don't get it. Do your parents just cast you out? Is it? What? What does this mean? That you can't say that? I could only not say that if it wasn't true. There's no orphans in the chat, so... I mean, you do the math. I definitely have parents. No idea. Alright, next confession. My only secret is that I ate grass because of a dare and a truth or dare game. Okay, you're boring. If that is as far as you went, you're boring. Alright? So even I, have, I, I would consider up until I, I started streaming and developed a personality, and I genuinely mean that. I was one of the most boring motherfuckers you, you, you could possibly know. I did nothing. I, I studied and I played computer games and I went to school. I said computer games as if I was fucking fifty. Jesus Christ, I am old. My God, you turn twenty and you fucking turn old. All right, but anyway, do you like Jacob's crackers? Yeah, that, I was that sort of guy. Sort of regular flavor mini cheddars type type geezer, right? If that is, you're just boring, I'm sorry. Anyway, moving on. I found my mum's dildo when I was like seven. Wow. Um. And and what did you did you ever confront her about this? Did you ask her what? I feel like if seven year old me found a dildo, I'd be like, mummy, look. I found and be laughing about it because it looks like a willy. I mean, like, it looks like a willy, it looks like a willy, it looks like a willy. Be shaking it and shit. Which is vile, but I guarantee you that's what's... Uh, 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 my, my, you know, ability not to laugh at penises is maintained with me throughout my entire life. You know, I, penises are amusing and have always been. You know? I remember... <laughs> I don't know if I can tell this story. I'm telling it without names. One time, I went... I like these confession streams because you guys confess things and then I get ballsy and confess things as well. Um, but I, one time, uh, went on a little... Uh, went for a little drinky poo with some friends um, for a uh, birthday. I went to a birthday party. And um, we came away from said birthday party. And uh, two of my friends, they're in, they're in a relationship, they're a couple, uh, had left early from the party and, and I was staying at, um, at the friend's girlfriend's house so like my my friend I mean I'm friends with his girlfriend as well but like like I know him and then I know him her through him that's not true actually I met her first I'm closer with him though anyway the point is I was staying at the girlfriend's house we were all just like me obviously those two were gonna have a bed together because they're, they're, they're in a relationship and me and my other friend were gonna sleep on the sofas because they have two sofas so we were gonna sleep there but the, uh, the the couple left early. They were tired. They wanted to leave the party. Me and my other friend stayed. Uh, we stayed until like four a.m. Right? They they left at maybe two. I don't know. We we basically knew that we were gonna have to go to this friend's house four a.m. quietly, and they were gonna have to let us in because we didn't have a key. So he's like, "I'll stay awake. Uh, we'll, we'll just be at home chilling. I'll be awake though. I'll let you in. Just knock at the door. I'll let you in." Sorted. I am. By the way, for context, banned from that house now. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. And that is because it's 4am. I'm quite drunk and I roll up to the gaff with my friend who's also quite drunk. And, I, and we knock on the door. We go, uh, we, we give it a little bit of a, you know, a hearty knock. I, pr I promise you this is real, by the way. I promise you this is real. I need to turn mature audiences onto this stream. Fuck that. I'm going to get banned if I don't do that. Uh, I knock on the door. And 
my friend, for God knows what reason, decides to open the door to let us in, not fully nude, with a shirt on, and I, uh, but with his cock and balls out. Like this, he just goes, come on in. <laughs> now, I truly believe, I truly, truly believe I could have handled this. Even in my drunken state, even though we were trying hard not to laugh because we didn't want to wake anyone up already, I truly believe I would have handled this if that was where it ended. But it didn't. Because, people, if you know anything about the male anatomy, you're going to know what I mean when I say this. He did not just open the door with his penis out for the world to see. He opened the door with his penis slightly chubbed for the world to see. Really amused me. This is what really got me. Because <laughs> I think if it was a, either a hard or soft cock, I would have just kept it in. But <laughs> but this weird middle ground really amused me. <laughs> I started laughing so fucking loud that um, I got me and the other friend sleeping on the sofa um, banned from that house for being too loud uh, and upsetting the neighbors. Uh, and now we're barred. So uh, I can't go uh, and ever sleep there again. And that's a confession about me, people. Now on to the next few confessions from everybody else. I read Wattpad, so I think that says enough. It does, you shameful being. There's alternatives, and I can't promote them here, but trust me, it's worth it. Thank you for the hundred. Sorry, I didn't see that. Here's some millions, Mr. Old. That's just a hundred bits, but I'll take it. It'll add, you know, it, it's all accumulative, you know? It's all just cumulative, actually. I once peed myself while playing FNAF while I was streaming, but I had to keep playing because I was doing a speedrun. The show must go on. No. Whilst live, my guy? That's fucked. That's fucked. Please stop saying which apps are better than what Wattpad. I'm not saying apps for fan fiction. I'm not... I'm not encouraging... Just please. That is... The best thing is, if, if, if your chat knew, you could have been banned. It's against Twitch TOS to piss yourself. I... Can't remember why I know- Oh! I remember when I did the hot tub stream with Amaranth, I threatened to pee in the hot tub. And she got mad at me, not because uh, I was peeing in a hot tub with her in it, but because it would get us banned. Um, so I appreciate that, um, Amaranth. You, you learned me something new. There's no one who knows the TOS better than her, really. So, um, honestly, she, she, she learns me stuff. Anyway. Um... I don't read smut, someone just put in chat. That's a good confession. Proud of you. You're, you, you're, you're godly and you're beyond it, and I like that. You streamed with Amaranth? Yeah, I streamed with Amaranth like two or three times. Chat. Chat. I'm going to put a decision in your hands. Because I, I, I want to put a decision in your hands. I just thought, that reminded me. I don't know why. Just collaboration. It just it got me thinking. I received a message just before starting this stream, and I mean like literally, like minutes before starting this stream. I received a Twitter DM. Do you guys know the um, the Scottish girl on TikTok with the pink hair, pink and green? You know the one. We all know the one. She took a picture of you. She goes smile and then takes a picture of you. You know the one. Random message earlier saying, "Teach me how to play Minecraft, please." Chat. Worthwhile. We do that. Should we do it? I might do it if you say yes. I'm seeing lots of yes. All right, maybe I'll set that up. Anyways, on to the next confession.
Okay, wait. I need to read this one because text speech isn't on. You'll get a load of this as I have the pre. <laughs> eh? Pause. This this got deep really quick. You'll get a load of this as I have depression still. 22 years ago, I was adopted, and now as a Taiwanese tradition, I don't know if my mom wants to see me. No, you, you already donated this. What what do you mean as a Taiwanese tradition? What I, I don't know of Taiwanese parents abandoning their children en masse. Why do you keep insisting that this is a Taiwanese thing? I'm very sorry. I really am. But at the same time... I feel like this may just be a you thing, and I'm very sorry to, to, to confess this to you. I think maybe that is just a you thing. I don't know whether it is a Taiwanese thing. It's a stereotype. Where... Is... I'm just... Taiwanese... I'm, I'm googling this shit. No way. Taiwanese parents. Taiwanese culture. Here we go. I found a website on Taiwanese culture. Taiwanese families are typically large and multi-generational, with each member playing an important function within the household. While well, the extended families traditionally lived with the nuclear family, increasing urbanization and uh, economic independence are steadily reducing the commonality of this household structure. This is boring. I changed my mind. I don't care enough to work this out. Anyways, on to the next confession. I used to eat pennies for fun. Right. Proud of you for, uh, you know, managing to log onto the internet, create an account and donate. That feels like quite high function for someone who used to eat pennies. So well done. Thanks you know, for everything you. you do, bald man. That's my all right. My confession is once I ate dog poo because right. my cousin said it was chocolate. I cried and passed out. Then my mom found me and I refused to tell her why I was covered in poo. She still has no Why idea. were you covered in it? What do you mean you were covered in it? No, 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 no. They, they said it was chocolate. You don't rub chocolate. You don't go, oh, I love this chocolate. Oh, let me rub it into my paws. No, no one does that. What do you mean? I, I, I believe they eat dog poo because they said it was chocolate. Now, I don't know how you got past the smell because dog shit smells vile, but I'll... Let's move past that. You, you cried so hard you passed out, which is quite impressive. Did you then fall into the shit? Messy eater. Right. I would like to think they only took a singular bite. Because if they took... If they took more bite... More bites... How can you make a me... I'm moving on. Hey Jack, hey. I introduced my very little brother to the Manifold YouTube channel the other day and now he won't stop swearing in an English accent. My family are so- I concerned. never said I was family friendly apart from the times I did sarcastically. You shouldn't have taken me seriously. God. Fuck. That's not my fault. I really- you know at VidCon, I had- I had two really young children. I'm talking like six. Right as the meet and greet was done, Anna, she's one of the uh, people who works at Twitch, sweetheart. Uh, sees these two kids really wanting a picture, and she's like, would you be down to have one more picture of these kids that like they want to come in the line, and they miss the line? And I'm like, of course I will. Anna goes and fetches, fetches, fetches these little kids, and bless her, I'm really bad with kids, and she was really sweet with them, and, and she, she, you know, they came and had pictures. But I'm like, my brother in Christ, my, my, my sweet, sweet children, you are s six years old. You should not be hearing the stuff. I spoke about my friend's chubbed penis on this stream. You can't be watching this. I, I, I don't know whether they were six. I actually don't know how old they were, but I'm telling you they were young. I'm like less than 10. I'm, I, I mean it like less than 10, right? Like you, you shouldn't be watching me. I hate when people go, oh, I have a young cousin who watches you. I'm like, they shouldn't. I, 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 I see, I, this is how I judge myself, all right? I, I said it before and I'm going to say it again boldly, but I think my audience en masse is kind of like, Kind of on average, there's older people and there's younger people, but I'd say the average age of the Jet Manifold viewer is about 15. Might be a bit up. I, uh, I get recognized in clubs more and more, so I think it's increasing, but that's because I keep doing memeless videos. Um, which, but did I tell this story? I got recognized in a club the other night, and um, and, and I've had some bad experiences. N no ages in chat, yeah, don't tell me your age, I don't need to know. 
Don't tell me. I'm just, I, I have a rough idea from the people that come up to me in the street and recognize me. Anyway, please stop spamming your age in the chat. I, I obviously have had bad experiences being recognized in clubs. I spoke about the one where that girl stole my fucking hat and then posted a TikTok about it, celebrating it. Uh, my fucking Balenciaga hat at that, bear in mind. But anyway, um, I've had some bad experiences being recognized in clubs. But uh, this this one, the, the other night, I was, I was in a club. A guy comes up to me, six foot five, big fella, surely in his 20s, right? And he comes up to me and he's like, are you Jet Manifold? And I was like, yeah, you're right. And he's like, Oh, yeah, mate. Lovely to meet you. I was like, he was really, really nice fellow. He was like, oh, I don't want to picture anything because, you know, you're out with your friends and I don't want to disturb you. But, like, I just want to say hi. I love your stuff. Like, like, uh, and, uh, like have a good night. And, he, and that's what he said, right? I was like, oh, thank you so much, man. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, and then he went, and I fully mean this. He went, uh, 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 and, and this threw me off until I thought about it. He went, I, 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 I don't watch much of Minecraft stuff. It's not really my thing, but I really like your videos with George. And I was like, oh. Okay, I just really didn't expect this sort of like laddish lad to be your average George not found viewer But I thought hey, you never know people can enjoy what they enjoy man I was like oh, fair enough. He's a George fan and then I kind of like nudge N Nikki and I was like That guy was a George fan. You know that and I was like that's I just didn't he wasn't the average George not found enjoyer And then Nikki went George Memeulous Jack you do videos with George Memeulous and I was like That but he looks, yeah, no, I'd say he's more, he's your more average George Memeulous viewer. <laughs> nah, he was talking about Goggy, man. <laughs> that shit fucking got me, the fucking average Goggy enjoyer. I really, for a second, fully thought this guy was like a hard send Goggy enjoyer. Um, but he was a George Memeulous fan, and, and that made way more sense. But anyway, um, that was, that was fun. I enjoyed that. We actually then proceeded to point out one of my friends in the group and went, You know, that's actually Memeulous. <laughs> I think it was Jago. Like, you know, that's actually Memeulous. We do that a lot. I do like doing that a lot, to be fair. When someone mentions George and they're like, Oh, oh I've seen you in George's stuff. I'll grab like someone with me who they might not recognize. And be like, you know, you know, that's Memeulous. It's just a fucking person. <laughs> If you ever meet me and I point out someone and say it's memeulous, it, it isn't. <laughs> That's one of my things. Anyway, we've got more confessions to do. Lizzie Hunter, thank you for the 248. What does that say? Uh, you have yelled at me twice to get over a breakup at about the Twitch link tattoo. And my goal is to have you do it three times. Also, I have a meeting in 10 minutes, but I'm still be watching you. That's right. You're, you're, that's bait, isn't it? The bait is I'm going to yell at you for not paying attention to your meeting. I don't give a fuck about your meeting. Lose your job. Get kicked out of school. See if I care. All right? I'm not yelling at you again just because you want me to. Never. I don't do things because people wish for me to do them. Rosie, thank you for the 13 months. You are an old odd man. Fuck you. All right? Never mind. Take it back. Someone said, hi, Jack. Please acknowledge me with a pound. There you are, Jester. We have People are just donating so many confessions. I don't even need to look at the list. You're just donating them in. I appreciate this. Thank you. You're making my job easier. Anyway. Uh, did it just stop? Um, Captain Coral. Where are you? I'm going to read your confession now. Uh, when I was younger, I ate those silica gel packets that come in certain products for some reason. I don't know why. However, it was a fun trip to the hospital. Yet yeah, that... They, they literally do say on them, don't eat these... Um, and I always thought, what? Finland, right, have this philosophy that they don't have much public health and safety restriction. Um, because they kind of take the opinion that if you do a stupid thing, that's your fault. And sometimes, just sometimes, I agree with the Finnish. Like, I always thought... Why would they write on these packets, don't eat, right? I'm obviously not going to eat the silica packet that came with my... Like, say I order, I don't know, like a fucking... What's an example? Like a, like a pair of... Like a bat... Like, uh, fucking hell, like a pair of socks. There's one of those silica gel packets in them to stop them getting moist. I'm going to go, oh, they sent a snack with my, sno with my socks. Who is... Who is doing it? And then someone said four chill... Because it looks edible. What do you fucking mean? It's a... It's plastic. It's a plaque of plastic. What do you fucking mean? And people are saying babies. Babies can't fucking read! 
So it's not, it's not saving them either, because they can't read, don't eat. They just go, eh, and put it in their mouth. But if you're old enough and intelligent enough to read, then... This, right, this is how I see it. A lot of these things that have warnings on them that say don't eat. If you're old enough and intelligent enough to eat, to read, then you clearly aren't stupid enough to eat the product that says do not eat. The only people, generally, I would say, who would, would be likely to eat these things are people with, like... Like, 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 you know, like children and stuff like that. Who can't fucking read! It makes no sense. I'm sorry, it makes me so angry. It's, it's one of those things in life that I just genuinely believe is like, like crayons, for example. I just like breaking the rules. Exactly, I genuinely think putting do not eat on things makes those, like, rebellious fuckers eat more. It's like how Nintendo, they, like, coated the Nintendo Switch cartridges in, like, an awful tasting chemical so that babies wouldn't eat them. But all it meant is, like, a shit ton of adults started licking fucking Switch cartridges to see if they really did taste really bad. And shock horror, they did. Like, you know, I just... You can eat crayons, though. You know why? Because so many people ate fucking crayons, they couldn't seem to find a way to deter people doing it. So they're like, fuck it. Let's just make it edible. It's the same with Play-Doh, right? Play-Doh couldn't figure out a way not to make kids eat Play-Doh. So they're like, fuck it. Let's just make it edible so they don't get hurt and we don't have to worry about it anymore. So Play-Doh is edible. It isn't good for you. You won't get any nutrients and it won't feel nice or taste nice, but it is edible edible. You can eat it because they had to make it edible because so many people started fucking eating it. The only problem is now fucking stupid adults knowing that it's edible eat it to see what it tastes like. So I'm moving on. It just I, oh. Ghost Files. Thank you for the prime. Hey. Thank you for telling me to slay. I appreciate it. I'll try my best. Someone put uh, a pride 100 bits. Thank you so much. And put confession time. Uh, if someone is rude or disrespectful when I'm in my wheelchair, I do my best to wheel over their toes as revenge and pretend it was an accident. And you know what? All the power to you. I'm just- if I was wheelchair- if I used a wheelchair, I s- if I was wheelchair. <laughs> if I used a wheelchair, I would be doing the same shit, bro. There was a kid in our school who was, um, in a wheelchair and he would do that. He actually did some pretty fucked up shit, but he also would do that. He, he had a little horn, and he'd just, like, if you didn't, if he, he'd beep his horn if you are in his way, and if you weren't, he'd just run into you, man. He's like, you got one beep of the horn, and if you didn't move, that kid was running you down. There was also one little event that I quite liked in our ch uh, school, and there was, uh, there was only two kids in the entire school who were in wheelchairs, and they were both in um, electric wheelchairs, and they used to, like, race each other, and you'd see it sometimes, and it was quite the spectacle. You'd just be like walking around school and then you would literally, and I mean this wholeheartedly, you'd see these two kids just like fucking and no care for anyone in their way. Like you would, they'd be like, move! And they'd be racing, like in middle of break. They'd be like racing through the fucking school. It was kind of cool. I'll be honest. Like I actually used to fucking, like I used to like when you'd see them racing. It was kind of sick. But like, it was also quite dangerous because neither of them gave a shit about like running people over. They would... They would run fuckers down, man. I mean it. They they were he, one of the kids. He he was actually he did some shit, man. He he got I think he got kicked out of school. Um, but anyway, you know. Anyway, we'll move on from him. Um, Formula wheelchair. We, no one gave it a name. It was just a thing that you'd see sometimes. You see the two two kids. I don't remember their names. I, I, they were a couple of years below me, but I'd see them sometimes, just like racing around. I was like, it's kind of cool. But also, like, move out the fucking way. <laughs> anyway, uh, what do we have next? Hi, Jack. Guess what? I got a perfect score on my maths exam. Yo, well done. Fuck, you did better than me, man. I got, like, I, I missed, like, I think 20 marks out of, like, 200 and something. I missed, like, 20. And I was like, fuck, I did it, man. I was like, the, I did the best in maths in my, in my fucking whole year. I was like, I did it, man. You fucking beat me. And now I'm pissed. Well done, though. Daniel! Thank you for the three. I once watched my friend's little brother pee in her... Right. All oh, right. I... I can't picture the scenario under which that happened. And it's... And I'm trying not to accuse you of being weird. But I think you might be weird. Um, so I'm just going to move on. 
when my brother was like eight, when I was like eight, sorry, my brother ate like literally rolls with just ketchup in them. Immediately disowned. Do you mean like bread rolls? Which I would call a cob because I'm from Manny T. From fucking Mansfield, bastards. From Mansfield, I'd call it a cob. Anyway, yeah, a cob with some ketchup in it. I actually don't like ketchup. I have an almost phobic hate of ketchup. Uh, I was a really fussy eater as a kid, and, and I decided I didn't like ketchup. I'd never tried ketchup. I just decided I didn't like it. And to this day, even the smell makes me feel ill. What I've realized, though, is I once had a burger. I ordered a burger, asked for no ketchup, and they put ketchup on it, but I was hungry, so I ate it. I actually like the taste of ketchup, but because of this weird mental block, I still will ask for it not on things, because it, it, in my head, it's gross. You know like that question, would you eat shit if it tasted good? I kind of have that with ketchup. In my brain, ketchup is like shit. It's gross. But I'm aware it does taste good, so I don't eat it. But I'm aware that it does taste good. So I can actually answer that question. It's like, you know, if the shit tastes bad, would you eat good? Would you eat it? No, I wouldn't. Because it's still gross. And like, that's how I feel about ketchup. Like, I know, I, I, I genuinely, to my core, makes me feel physically ill. But I know it tastes good. But I don't like it. Like, it may, it, I think it's gross. It's some weird psychological bullshit. It's like almost phobic. It's like, I really don't like ketchup. Um, it's why I don't like baked beans either. Because it's kind of the same tomato saucy sort of stuff. I have a very strange- I, I'll, I'll eat fucking anything, mate. I, I'll eat- I, I've eaten weird shit. I've eaten liver, I've eaten alligator, I've eaten fucking, uh, I don't know, fucking- What's a weird thing? I, snails. I, I've eaten all sorts of weird shit, right? I'll eat anything. I really will eat anything. But I will not eat ketchup or baked beans. That's about it. I'm really- I, I've got quite uh, a strange sort of relationship with those foods. Oh, and black pudding. Black pudding, I suppose, is weird if you're not British. Or if you're British. I just like black pudding. And I kind of forget it is a bit of a weird food. Planetary rat, thank you for the prime. Let's see what you've Once got to when say. when I was little, I slapped a lady on the butt, looked her up and down, then said, you're under arrest. I saw my grandpa do it. He's a cop, so I thought it was cool. Also, my 18th birthday is on the 12th of August. And happy three months. I really hope that you saw your grandpa just arrest someone. And... Not slap someone on the ass and then do that. Unless it was maybe your grandma, in which case it's maybe like a flirty little thing they do, which is, admittedly, I, I hope you didn't see that. Because I, 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 if I saw my granddad slap my nan on the ass and go, you're under arrest, I'd vomit. But at least it wouldn't make your granddad a fucking strange pervert. Um, I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and hope you saw that and then just go, oh, you're just a child, you don't get it. Also, your 18th birthday is on the 12th. Happy birthday. Um, I... That reminds me of a story. Not of me slapping someone on the ass, because I'm not strange. But I did once um, do, like, something that in my head is kind of similar. And that is, one time, I went swimming with my cousins. And my cousin had splashed me and then dumped me under the water. So I'm currently under the water. Uh, with my eyes closed. And I reach up, because I'm going to grab her and drag her under with me. I think I've done this. I grab a pair of hands by the wrists tightly and I stand up and I open my watered eyes and stare in the eyes a random lady with her child. Her child looks alarmed. She looks alarmed and she goes, are you all right? Do you need help? And I just laughed in her face, uh, which I think concerned her more. And I was like, I'm really sorry i thought i'd grabbed onto someone else i'm really really sorry and she was like oh, that's okay don't worry about it are you all right i'm like i promise you i'm fine i i just i i really and then i just laughed and walked away because i i couldn't handle it um and that was that was like when i was like 15 but it was it was it you know i wasn't a little enough kid to get you know when you're like a, if i was a little little kid you'd get away with it but i was like a teenage boy uh so it was just a bit weird um, and probably a bit threatening, if anything. So, uh, I feel slightly bad about that one to this day. Cave down, thank you for the hundred. Uh, I found my mum cheating. I just kept it secret. My parents are... Fucking hell! You caught your mum cheating and you kept it a secret from... Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I... I often have that sort of, like, fear that... Not with my parents. I don't think my... But, like, with, like... I'm like, what if I caught my friend cheating? And like, 
And but like you know like I because a lot of my friends like I'm I'm friends with their significant others and I'm like what if I catch my friend cheating, like where where does my loyalty lie? Like what do I do? And I, and I, I like it's never happened, but I'm really scared of it ever happening because I I know it would sit heavy on my soul. Uh, that yeah, I'm sorry you had to do that. I'm I'm kind of glad they're divorced now because that was the best and and probably less pressure on you because you now don't have to like keep that secret anymore. But fucking hell, I'm really sorry. Uh, that is fucked. Yeah, it's, don't be friends with cheaters. Yeah, probably probably true to be fair. Always tell the truth. Thank you, chat. Say the truth, that's always the right thing. Uh, yes, I, I'd never lie for a cheater. But what I'm saying is, is it my place to tell the significant other? That's more what I mean. Like, is it on me to make... The, the, this is my problem. It's not, will I lie for the cheater? I wouldn't do that. What I more mean is... I now know this information, and I know telling the other person this relationship will seriously affect, if not end, the relationship. Is it on me? Is it my right to be able to do that? Like, I don't feel like it's my call. I'm not, it's not my relationship. I shouldn't, like, I, like, I hope they find out and I'd never lie, but you know what I mean? It scares me. Everyone's saying yes. All right. Omitting is a lie. No, I, I would like if I was asked, I'd say yes, but like I just, I just avoid the situation. It like is the other option. Everyone's saying yes. All right. Is she? No, I know that, but I like you know. You, this is the thing, right? You don't know. In my opinion, like part of me's like scared. Like you don't know what finding out that news will do to a person. And you, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack. I don't think it's as simple, but again, that's just me. Anyway. True, actually, that's a good idea. Someone said tell the other person's friends and they can deal with it if you don't feel like you're close enough. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's probably the best. All right, I'm prepared now. If any of my friends want to cheat, I know what I'm going to do. I once had a dream my dad was cheating. and It was really disturbing because we all came home and we caught my dad with some woman but they'd, they were kind of mid the deed. They weren't having sex, but they were like kissing and shit, which was disturbing. But it was even more disturbing because they swapped clothes. Like this woman was in my, my dad or when he, he works from home nowadays, but he used to, when he used to work, he used to work in a full suit. And he probably hates the fact I'm talking about this on the internet, but it is a dream. It's a dream. It isn't real. Um, I, I, but anyway, I, I, I showed up home, me, my mum, and my brother. And, um, Saw my dad making out with this isn't real, but this is a dream, by the way, before people start like either way. They they were making out and shit, which was already bad, but then she was wearing his suit and he was wearing this like very elegant bl uh, red dress. Very nice red dress, in fact. Um But it was it was yeah, it was it was it was an awful dream. It it really it sat with me. Really sat with me. Another dream Sheldon Cooper, what? What do you mean, Sheldon Cooper? Too much detail. Trust me, it stuck with me, man. It was, it was fucked up. It was fucked up. That was an awful dream. I wouldn't. You've had a dream that you couldn't wake up from. I had that when I was young, and that really stuck with me. I once had a dream that Wallace and Gromit had been kidnapped by an evil old lady who I can still picture very vividly. She was like wearing like kind of an old timey dress. She had like a big barnet, big grey barnet, very angular. Um, sharp, you know, sharp featured woman, uh, mean looking. Um, and Wallace and Gromit had been captured by this evil lady. Um, and I was like, Wallace, Gromit, I'm trying to wake up. Why can't I wake up? And I couldn't wake up. And Wallace and Gromit go, you, you need to free us and then you'll be able to wake up and we'll be able to go home. I'm like, okay, Wallace and Gromit, how do I do this? And this evil woman, uh, ha had a big red button in her oven. It's kind of orange, actually, but it was in her oven for some reason. I had to get inside the oven and hit the button, and that would free us all. And then, uh, but there was, like, obstacles. I had to not get caught and shit. And then, so I did it. Uh, I pressed the button, and I woke up. And, and Wallace and Gromit were free, and I... woke up. I was able to wake up immediately. I was unable to wake up until that moment, and I'm like, Yep, I'm chilling. And then I was just there. I was like, yep, I'm awake now. I once uh, also had that, but I got really lucid. Um, and then I remember like being a little man inside my own brain. 
I was like dreaming and I knew I was dreaming and I kind of woke up from the dream but was still asleep with my eyes closed. And I was like a little man inside my brain and I was like, I need to wake up. So I managed somehow to like communicate with the part of my brain that had like control of my body. And I took my arms and they felt very heavy. And I did this. I went and like pulled my eyes open and I, I woke up. And now don't get me wrong, I cannot tell you whether or not I actually did pull my eyes open or whether it was just like some like meta dream in which I dreamt that I'd done that and then I just kind of woke up as a consequence. But that was a real thing that happened, um, in my brain at least. Um, again, all when I was younger. Uh, nowadays, I don't really dream at all. Um, I haven't had a dream in a lot. Oh, no, the mo I had a bunch of dreams about ghosts recently. Really, like, specifically. About being haunted, uh, which fucked me up a bit because I hadn't dreamed, and then I just had like a bunch of dreams about being haunted at once. I was like, "Fuck!" Uh, like, and one of them was really scary. I was driving in in America, weirdly, um, down the highway, really fucking fast, like on the highway. So you know, I'm going like a hundred, like eighty, no, like eighty miles an hour. You know, because like that's how quick you drive on the fucking highway. Um, and I'm going down the not the highway, like like the interstate, driving down the interstate, eighty miles an hour. And uh, I'm driving with a passenger. I don't remember who it was. It might have been Nikki. I don't remember. And there was like, and she went, oh, did you see that? I was like, what? And there was like a handprint on the window. And she's like, that's fucking weird. And I was like, it's probably just someone like put their hand on the, the window before we set off and we just didn't notice. And then I, like another handprint was there. But like, <laughs> The handprint wasn't, it was like on the air. It was, it's a dream. So, you, you know, you not everything makes sense. And there's like a handprint like in front of my face, but like just on the air, if that makes sense. And then I just got pushed. Like I felt myself get pushed and the chair reclined. And, but like, like, I'm like, the problem is I'm fucking driving 80 miles an hour down the interstate. And now I'm like this and can't see out the fucking windshield. I can hardly reach the wheel and like I can't really reach the pedals and I'm like this and like and then I just woke up because like it, it, they all got a bit much and I got scared um, But that was a dream I had recently and then I think I had a dream about ghost hunting like that, that when George and will went ghost hunting in Ireland I caught a bit of that stream and then I had a, like a dream roughly doing the same thing afterwards um, And then I haven't had a dream since um, but I used to have very vivid very strange dreams uh, when I was a kid um, Which is interesting nowadays um, I don't. I was trying. To, I had a. In, I was gonna tell you about my dreams because I have some really interesting ones, but I've forgotten them now. Uh, either way, probably should get back to the confessions. Oh, sorry. That that is one. Uh, thank you for the hundred bits. Uh, blah, 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 blah. my boy best friend confessed his feelings for me, and I just said that I just said pog, and he started crying and running, and now I feel bad. But he's a runner. He's a track star. It is awkward. It is awkward when you don't reciprocate those feelings and saying Pog maybe wasn't the most sensitive way of handling that situation, but you know, good on you for giving it a crack. Uh, you probably should apologize though and maybe say, hey, sorry, I didn't handle that too hot. Uh, and then maybe just have like a heart to heart, even if you don't like them back. Probably just kind, isn't it? Um, let's go on to the next one. Yep, it's Jenna. Thank you for the five. One time when I was nine, I blacked out because I drank beer when I thought it was apple juice. My dad usually put apple juice in the pitcher but put beer in it and forgot to change it back before I came to his house. That was the worst headache I ever had. Realistically though, let's be honest. How the fuck are you mistaking beer for apple juice? Beer tastes nothing like apple juice. If it was cider, I'd believe it because it's made with apples. But beer, I don't believe. How do you not go, oh, that apple juice tastes awful. It was dark. I don't care about the visibility. I mean, the taste. They were nine. Nine-year-olds can tell when something tastes like shit. Like, if you, I was nine and you gave me a bitter drink, I'd be like, oh, it's not the sweet stuff I'm used to. You gotta go, oh, they're nine. Like, you know it's shit. Like, it looks the same. Yeah, but it tastes bad. Why would you continue to drink it? I don't believe you. I just don't. I just don't. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I just had one. What was that? I think you were the primer, Lumi. 
Um, let me Eden, sorry. Uh, when I was younger, me and my friends accidentally set a wooden outdoor toilet on fire, but using a magnifying glass to burn the grass next to it. Do you, why do you live in the Middle Ages, my guy? Why, why, where is there a wooden toilet out in the, like, the wild nowadays? Like, outdoor wooden toilets don't... My dad had one of those when... My dad was born in the, the early 60s, right? When he was really young, he had an outdoor toilet, all right? And he, that was one of the, like, kind of last outdoor toilets, all right? Outdoor toilets have been pretty much gone by this point, all right? Hey, those still exist. Your dad is old. Tweet it at him. What? It's not my problem. Um, don't, please don't tweet. Mass tweet my dad. You're old. He'll feel bad. And I don't want to do that to him. He'll start going through a crisis. And I mean, he made a Twitter account. So he may have already... I mean, he might, he's already teetering. You know? Anyway. Bumble the hum Humble the Bumble. Sorry. Thank you for the 100 bits. Um, I once grabbed my pet fish out of the tank and threw it across the room. You're evil, all right? You've just confessed to being evil. Well done. Moving swiftly forth. Hi, Jack. You Hi. have said before that you've been to Spain many times in BC. I'm Spanish, I must ask. What's your favorite place here? And yes, I'll judge you. Oh, yeah, man. I like Ibiza, Mallorca, Benidorm, uh, Marbella, Shagaluf. No, I went... Um, I've been to... So I've been to some Spanish islands as well, bear in mind. But I've been mainland. I've been to Murcia. Uh, why did I say it like that? It's because uh, I remember once at work, I had I just had a memory. I worked with a guy whose wife was Spanish. I said, oh, I'm going to Murcia. And he went, ah, oh, Murcia. And he kept really, really forcing the accent. And I was like, dude, we get it. Your wife's Spanish. But he was like the biggest Murcia. Like, and it, was like, it wasn't even that Spanish. He was just doing the... It was like forcing the like the kind of lispy sort of like sound, and and my brain went back to it for a second, and I was like, "Apologies, Mercia." Uh, I went there. I went uh, specifically around Cecina, which is interesting because there's a big club in Cecina called the Mansfield because a lady from Mansfield moved there uh, and and uh, set up this like little club thing. Um, I didn't know that before I went, so interesting little thing. But yeah, Mercy's lovely. Uh, I've been to Cartagena. I've been to... Um, I think I have been to Mallorca once, to be fair. I've been to um, Calador. I've been to Calahonda. I've been to Lanzarote. I've been to... Um... Ooh, another one of the islands. I've never been to Tenerife. Uh, Lanzarote, and then I've been to another one. Kind of... S I'm trying to remember, because... I remember one of them really distinctly, and I can't remember which one it is. It might be Lan... I don't think it's Lanzarote. I want to say it was like Calador. Hmm. There's one more. There's one more. It's Lanzarote. What are the islands? I want to try it. I've been to another one. I swear. I was looking now. I swear a bit. Oh, another place beginning with L, I feel like. But maybe I'm wrong. Mallorca. Maybe it was just Mallorca, but I didn't think I had. I, I could have swore I'd never been to Mallorca. Maybe I've been... Mallorca's like a maybe. I can't remember. I've been to, like... Menorca, I think. No. Fuck! I've been to... Don't remember. Don't remember. Either way, but definitely been to Lanzarote. Um, where is Lanzarote geographically? Is that the one, like, off the coast of Africa? Yes. Been to that one. Because uh, Lanzarote is quite far. I've been to mainland. I've been to Mercia. I'm going to get distracted. The stream's going to go so slow because I'm going to start thinking about where I've been in Spain. Roughly those places. I really liked... Um... Yeah, everyone's saying... 17 months. I don't have anything to confess, but that was sure a story to join to. Hey, I don't know what story you joined to, but... 
They've all been pretty bad. So thank you for the 17 months and sticking around. La Mamba. I'm not, I can't say I've been to La Mamba um, in real life. No. Um, Las Nevadas. No, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, so they told me to pick my favorite. Probably... I think Khaled... Where is this? Let me work out where this is and I'll tell you where I've been. Oh no, that is Mercia. Shit. I don't remember. Fuck it. Mercia's alright though. I really like Mercia. That's the second favourite. I just can't remember the first the name of the first one right now. Um, I was a really little kid when I went. I just remember really liking it. Anyways! Let's go on with the confessions. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Thank you for the 200 bits. This is the Grace DP. I used to out of bed when I was little and eat Vaseline out of a jar. I looked it up recently and apparently it's toxic. Oops. I hope you haven't received any permanent ja damage. I used to call Vaseline Vagimil when I was a kid. I used to suffer with very dry lips and because well, I couldn't speak very much at the time this was happening, I used to just go, Vagimil, Vagimil, Vagimil. And my mum used to know what that meant, uh, which is very impressive. I used to say a lot of things weirdly, like nunkins for napkins and anjims for sandwiches. Um, anyway. On to the next one. Rocks, rocks. Thank you. I, 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 Jack Maniold. In a month, there is going Fuck to be a baby birth thing. that was created the day I first subbed. That is weird. Yes. That is weird. But that's cool. Thank you for the eight. My boyfriend... Uh, I saw that one. Um, someone just put, hello, it's my time to shine. Hello, it's my time to shine. Thank you for the prime. You surely clowned yourself with the wacky FNAF P moment. Yes. All right. You know what? I'm going to read one from the list because I, I, the, the donors are kind of slowed down in terms of uh, um, confessions for a second. Uh, I don't tell anyone if I get hurt. I let it linger. Jack, until you laughed at my last resub message. I have fulfilled my purpose. And also, I feel like I've milked that bit enough. Oh, God. What do I do now? Just sub. Stay quiet. Only want your money. Anyway. I don't tell anyone if I get hurt. I let it linger until I can't deal with the pain, but I still refuse to go to the doctor. I'm not scared of them, but I just don't want to be there. Okay, thank you, Nikki Neertru, for sending that one in. Uh, gonna move on to the next. <laughs> That's what Nikki's like. She does that all the time. She she fucking she should have gone to the doctor slash hospital for like three things that she just didn't, and she's fine. But I I I, I get angry with her about it all the time. Anyway. Um, I think there are three. Oh, wait, no, that's a confession. Hold on. What is that? What is that? What is that? Let me try and find that. Hold on. I just came back from sleepaway camp and I got bored. So me and my friends looked through the camp council stuff and we found a dildo, a vibrator, and a list of sex positions. Ah, yeah, the Kama Sutra sat with the, uh... I'm assuming you're young, so, uh, the, the children's camp leader. Alrighty then. Just fulfilling stereotypes. Thank you for the five, Lumiex. I not only read fanfiction and smart as a 14-year-old, but I also made thirst edits of Marvel characters. This is why we shouldn't give our children unrestricted internet access at young ages. Parents of, um, sort of my, parents of my generation, you failed. You failed miserably. En masse. You wonder why, uh, so many mental health issues and, uh, strange... Strange occurrences, yeah, you kind of let them run riot on the internet. Kind of your fault. Kind of, kind of you did that, so, yep. Not too, not too good. Not too good, parents. Anyway, on to the next. So, oh, wait, hold on, I want to read this. Uh, oh, someone said I had great acting for Tom's show. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Oh, what was that? Sorry, 100 bits. What did I say? Uh, Jack, my mother said you were very handsome many times. Hey! Your mother's favorite streamer, baby! Introduce me to your mothers. I'm actually... I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna record a TikTok in a few days where I ask to be introduced to mothers. I haven't made a TikTok in a while, and I think a good usage of that platform is to meet local milfs. Anyway. Thank you for 100 bits. 
I drink the water from the street after it rained. That's just not very hygienic. You're dirty. Um, that's okay. Someone put, I once ate one of those Norby th Orbeez things up my nose. You don't eat things with your nose, so I'm already... It feels like you haven't learned. Well, you, you go, oh I, sh oh, I shouldn't put Orbeez. I shouldn't eat Orbeez. You shouldn't also eat with your nose. What are you eating with your nose? Pasta, I can, I can, I can see how you'd eat pasta with your nose. You could, and then like, it go down your throat. I believe that. I, I believe you could eat pasta with your nose. I, however, don't see. You need to learn that eating is with your mouth. That's my advice to you. You snort it. Yeah, but it doesn't go into your stomach. It goes into your fucking lungs, moron. Which is bad for you. Is it safe to eat raw toast? Yes, that is called bread. Leave the 100 bits. Love you, Jack. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. I have four boyfriends. They don't know about each other. Hi, Philip, Eclipse, Ennis, and Steven. I know you all are probably watching this. Thank you to... I cried in oh, class sorry. reading a My Chemical Romance fanfiction. My teacher didn't get mad at me for reading fanfic in his class, though, because he was secretly dating my mother. Hey! Eh? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was the twist of the fucking century. What do you mean he was secretly dating your mum? That's like one thing. To th th We are picking... Th these are coming in too quick. First off, don't have four boyfriends. I am the femboy. Pick one. Leave the others. I'm, I'm exposing you. I am the femboy. If you're dating someone with a Twitch username, I am the femboy. Uh, your names are Philippe, Eclipse, Enes, and Steven. Uh, band together. Fight back. You're being played, men. Uh, don't let femboys take advantage of you. It's a lesson I had to learn the hard way. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, the other one. Would you, why were they secretly dating your mother? It wasn't that. Who is it a secret from? Obviously, if you know, then why does it have to be a secret? Why can't the rest of the class know? Maybe because you'll have a bias. Oh, because you're not supposed to like, you, like, you, like you're not supposed to be taught by like people you have like a relationship with outside of school. Like if your your parents are teacher, they can get a bit weird about that. Like, yeah, I suppose. Uh, some part. I am French. This is a confession. This is a joke, but it's true that I am French. So it's not a joke then. You're just French and confessing it. Uh, well, I'm proud of you for confessing. I hope you can find a cure. Bonus confession. Uh, I broke my keyboard against my wall into about five pieces because I fell in Fall Guys again while streaming. Hope you got a clip out of it. Clips are the matter nowadays. Make a TikTok out of that one. Uh, we got another one coming in. Uh, thank you for the three months storm night. I'll let you take it away. In your own time. Anytime now. I once dropped Thank a TV you. on my mate's hamster by accident. Still get nightmares of it. I wanted to ask, did it live? But I just don't think it did. I'll, I'm just going to be real. I don't think it lived, did it? It... Fuck. Well... Hold on. We are gathered here today to celebrate the life of Storm Knight 45321's mate's hamster, who sadly, in an awful act of sheer chance, was crushed to death by a 60 inch Samsung OLED HDR10. 8K television. Pre-installed with Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, and Hulu. Not laughing. And although he is no longer with us, 
We take solace in the fact that we all know that due to the logic of religion, this is all part of the big man's plan. Crushing this poor, innocent creature with a huge hunk of glass and metal. Lord, we pray to you today and hope that this hamster joins you in your kingdom after you cruelly had it crushed with the wonders of modern technology. And we lay to rest our furry little friend. Amen. Amens in chat, please. Please. A moment of silence while we spell my amens. <laughs> Someone put in chat midway through that, I love men, in an almost defiant act against God due to Christianity's opinions on that. Um, <laughs> and I found that to be quite amusing. <laughs> Was the TV okay? Also an important question. I, how easy was the hamster to clean off? I would imagine that's quite an expensive bit of, of equipment. Um, <laughs> that's pretty vile. I, I almost feel bad about the uh, asking how bad it was to clean off. How do you even, with like a rag? Anyway, um, on to the next uh, confession. Uh, Captain Hot Dog. Wow, you've really got a big one for me. All right, let's uh, give that a read. In, okay, it's more about Taiwan. Uh, in Taiwanese tradition, for some fucking reason, and this actually happened to some kid who told me that for some reason, women who give birth are married and sent the baby to adoption can't meet the child grown up because it's believed that it is shameful. None of what I, I, I said has happened to me. What a shitty kid. What a sh shitty kid? Wait, what? what? Let me read again. In Taiwanese tradition, for some fucking reason, and this actually happened to some kid who told me that, for some reason, women who gave birth unmarried, sent the baby to adoption, can't meet the child grown up because it's believed that it's shameful. Which I... I, I that makes sense. Like, I, I don't think it's correct, but I, 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 you know, there's many cultures that kind of work like that. None of what I said happened to me. What a shitty... Who's the shitty kid? Why is the abandoned orphan child shit? I, you, we're moving on again. I, I'm so confused. I think OP is Taiwanese. I still don't get it. Back. 16 months Yo, thanks so much. Already? Thank you for being you. Our streams have helped me through a lot. No worries. Thank you, you so much. I'm good, thank you. I'm really, really good. I'm really good at the minute. I'm feeling a real flow with streaming. I'm feeling way into it at the moment. I think you guys can feel it as well, because the streams have just felt so fucking good recently. I feel like the past few streams have just been chef's kiss. And trust me, there's some big ones coming up as well. I don't know. I just, I just, they feel good. I feel good about streaming. I spoke to Tommy. He gave me a bunch of advice. And I just like, I've just been taking it way easier and just coming up with better ideas and just, and feeling good about it. So thank you for showing up because you've been really rewarding my sort of like, like, I'm, I come up with these big ideas and you guys just fucking help, like, like, make them do well. I'm like, good, this pays off. I'm glad you're here. Like, thank you so much. Thank you for almost paying 100 fucking subs today as well. So, okay, so I had this boyfriend of over half a year and he broke up with me and blocked me. So in an attempt to get closure, I created a fake account. Uh, befriended him, pretended I was friends with the fake account, and through the fake account, convinced him to unblock me and I eventually blocked him. Man, that's some petty bullshit. Really doesn't feel worth it. I hope you got something out of it because that feels like a waste of fucking effort. But glad you're happy. Anyways. Moving on. My doormate in university had an STD. And oh, okay. Just share that with everyone then. I got a new doormate. My ex doormate told everyone I was gay. So I told everyone she had HIV. Then I set her crush up with my second doormate. Hold the fucking phone. What? Slow the fuck down. You first could tell us that your doormate had an STD and would keep you awake at night. So you got a new doormate. What does the STD... Did the STD make noise? Was there, was there cock going... Woo, 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 STD! Woo, woo. Like what? 
Why, why was the STD causing so much fucking noise? One, all right? Moving on from that fact. I'm so fucking baffled. You, you get a new doormate because they keep you awake at night. I sometimes, I, I somewhat understand that. Your ex-doormate -dorm then told everyone you were gay, which, who gives a shit, all right? Petty fucking homophobic ex-housemate. So you told them that they had, everyone they had HIV, which is fucking ridiculous. That's also fucked up of you. Can't go lying about people having like a deadly disease like HIV. You then set her crush up with your your new doormate. mate. Con, what the fuck? You can't do that. The HIV came with sound effects. To be fair, it would it would help with the spread of HIV, but it really wouldn't. Yeah, you you have this was am I the asshole? You're both the asshole. Being weird and homophobic and just going, oh, they, they, I'm mad they kicked me out because uh, they're gay. Oh, they're gay. Like, that's fucked. And then going, oh, you have fucking AIDS, mate. It's also shit. You're both shit. Anyway, an eye for an eye, innit? No, that, you're both shitheads. I first time donating, but you made me very happy. Thank you so much. Sometimes I daydream about... Right, the se the person who donated about the STDs then just put. Sometimes I dream about daydream about marrying you. N it's not gonna happen, right? I mean, generally with viewers, it's not gonna happen, but specifically with you, it's not gonna happen. What? What if we? Right. What if we break up? You're gonna tell everyone I have AIDS? What? No, fuck you. I'm gonna marry you, weirdo. Why would you tell me that? Why would you tell me that I you daydream about marrying me, you fucking weirdo? You're bear weird, man. <laughs> you made me say bear. I don't even say bear, but that you're bear weird. <laughs> After seeing a hookups junk for the first time, I involuntarily laughed and without thinking said it looked like an outy belly button. We didn't hook up. He blocked me. To be fair, it really did. Sad face. You laughed at my guy for having a micro penis. No, you're the asshole again. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. You are allowed to have a micro penis. All right. He probably had a great personality. No, but like, it's not his fucking fault. You can't laugh. He's probably fucking super insecure about his belly button cock anyway. Right. I don't care that it looks like he's got a fucking, you know, like a, a weird mole instead of a penis. You can't laugh like a third testicle. You can't laugh at him, all right? That's rude. And I realize you didn't do it on purpose, but that is rude, all right? We didn't hook up and he blocked me. You deserved it. You're rude. I, I, I realize you didn't do it on purpose, so, like, you're forgivable. Like, it isn't lying about someone having AIDS, but, like, it, it, you know, it's still kind of fucked, man. Someone knows a lot about the subject. Fuck you. I give you... Someone put, I give you permission to laugh. Some fucking short dicked king in the chat is like, no, nah, I give you permission. It's all good. I know they look funny. I have a, I have undying respect for you. <laughs> Whoever that was in chat, I'm VIPing them. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. Where is that message? Where the fuck is that? They're getting VIP'd. Where are you? I need to find you. I'm sorry, you're getting fucking VIP. That's hilarious. Sinner saves. You've never been timed out. You've never been banned. You're a pretty good chatter. You're getting VIP'd. You're the only, like, VIP that I don't know personally. <laughs> You're receiving VIP for that one. You're gonna... Everyone's gonna know you as the VIP with the short dick, and I fucking respect that. I respect that wholeheartedly. That's huge. You are fucking huge. I mean, not in the penis area, but everywhere else. Fucking legend. <laughs> anyway, uh, fucking on with the donuts. <laughs> I don't know if the first one worked. I don't know what it was because I don't know if it worked either. Uh, it, 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 it did. Never mind. I spotted it. <laughs> give him a sub. Someone give that man a sub. <laughs> Hello, Jack Manifold. It has been 13 months of this. Hey, thank Shout you so out much. Chat Manifold. I'd like that fucking, um, fucking Black Panther mean. Someone get this man a fucking shield. Someone give this man a... There he is! Sinister! Someone give this man a sub! 
Hey, someone did it. Someone gifted Senna Saves a sub. Got, do you got VIP after 20 minutes of following? For being a fucking Chad, that's why. Congratulations on your sub. I want this man to have subs for the rest of his time watching Jack Manifold. I want someone to- I, I don't want him to pay for another month, ever. <laughs> Obsidian Eyes, thank you for the three. I once shouted, I watched Dream SP while being taken into an ambulance. I was on pain relief and that made me be completely out of the moment. It's like Connor eats pants getting dragged into an ambulance. He's like, you gotta look after me, dude. I'm on the Dream SMP. That's something Connor eats pants would say. But you said you watch the Dream SMP, which I don't understand why that gives you importance. But fuck it, man. I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you being who you are, man. Dream SMP viewer pride. Elena, thank you for the tier one. <laughs> fuck it, hell. I do what I can. I respect it. Sivy Rocket, thank you for the thousand bits. My friend made me a promise that I could tell dad jokes at his funeral and he's dad less. Fulfilling a dying man's wish is big. You should do it. Fulfilling his lack of father figure. Writing his, on his deathbed. I wrote huge. a fanfic about two teachers in my school having oh, superpowers. Thank fuck, having superpowers. One had the power fuck. of math and we wrote a song about one of them. Anyways, one day I dropped the fanfic by accident when he was behind me, and I never saw it ever again. That's fine. That's okay. It's not about him having sex, at least. As long as he's not having sex, I think that's fine. You can write a story about a teacher. I had some cool teachers. They probably fucking love that shit. That's cool. I think that's cool. I'm sure they liked it. Evie, do not stress. I think that's kind of sweet. I, someone in chat was, but I did it about, I did that, but about sex. Now you're wrong. Never mind. Now you, now you've confessed to being weird. Well done. Congratulations. Had us in the first half. <laughs> Had us in the first half, not gonna lie. No, totally. Uh, thank you for the five. Give me a name for my child in Stardew Valley smiley face. Scrimothy. <laughs> Call him Scrimothy. S-C-R-I-M-O-T-H-Y. Like Timothy, but his name's Scrimothy. You know, uh, we've been playing D&D &D, um, with... Um... Ah! We've been playing D&D &D with Wilbur. He's been doing a D&D &D campaign. He's a really good DM. But he gives all his little NPCs different voices. But one of them, he essentially gave the voice of Stewie Griffin. And I've been unable to take him seriously. Because he goes, Oh, I love to see you in my shop. Oh, what do you want to buy from my shop? I just can imagine him going, Oh, what do you want to buy from my shop, Brian? Oh, fat man, what do you want to buy? Like, it, it, Honestly, it's like that close. It could just be Stewie. He's like, here's to the what? Wait, <clears throat> Here's to the ones here today. Here's to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back memories bring back you. There's a time that I remember. <laughs> I got shit stuck in my head. I'm loving those memes. Keep them coming. Hey, people who are doing the green screen challenge. Which, by the way, if you didn't see that tweet. There's a tweet on my Twitter with a link to a bunch of green screen footage of me. If you edit a good video that makes me laugh the most, I'm going to gift you $1,000. All you have to do is tweet put, or tweet out the video, post it. I don't really care about social media. Uh, Twitter is probably the best. Though. I'm more likely to see it with hashtag... Or oh, TikTok. Probably like to see it on TikTok as well. Hashtag manifold green screen. So if you aren't on my Twitter, go find the videos or go clip them from Twitch. They're all on Twitch. I'm going to give you $1,000. We're going to reveal that 8 p.m. Saturday the 13th. Anyway. Juicy Boy TV, thank you, the five. When I was a kid, I once forgot to lock the door to the toilet at a restaurant. Oh. I would often stand up, turn around and wipe. I, oh, there was I do that. one toilet, and some poor old- Oh, wait, I wouldn't turn around, what the fuck? face with my pooey bum as I wiped and screamed. W were you screaming in pain, or because she walked in? That's, that's probably important. I like that you gifted. Um... Yeah, don't turn around. What? No, 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 wait. Wait, I stand up, right? That, that's civilized, all right? That, 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 that's like... Wait, no, I don't. No, I don't do that either. What the fuck? Wait, standing up's the, the one you shouldn't do. I do a little squat. If you sit, your, your cheeks are nicely spread and you can really get in there and clean. I don't stand at all. I do like a little perch, you know? Like, I, I don't reach... I, I just kind of do a little, like, perch, you know? It's not really quite a stand. It's, it's still a squat. You know, I, I wouldn't do it turned around. The only time I'd ever do that if I like had a sweaty ass and I wanted to dry it. I'd, I'd then, you know, toilet paper my ass, turn around. Because what's the point in turning to the toilet if I'm just like drying my ass, you know? But, ugh. No, 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 no. You're weird. Poor lady. What do you mean?
mean sweaty? Your ass sweats, man. If it's warm, your ass sweats. And it's uncomfortable, so you just get, like, some toilet paper and, like, essentially wipe your ass. Well, obviously, you're not trying to wipe shit away. You're just drying it. Thank you for 100 subs today, by the way. Moving swiftly onwards. Five months swoop. Hey, thank you for the five. Also, some of oh, talking about them, silica gel packets. Oh, God. The, the dono, we are an hour behind on donos. It's taking that long to get through these. I apologize if I don't read your dono before the end of the stream. Anyway, talking about them, silica gel packets or whatever, they were, um, they are well, what? Well, once in primary school, there was this girl I really didn't like, so I tried to give her one and say that it was a mint so she would eat it. Spoiler alert, she didn't eat it. You tried to poison a girl in primary school is what you've just confessed to. You've just confessed to a crime, which in the UK, if you were above the age of 10 at the time, which you'd have to be in the last year of primary school, you could be, you're actually criminally liable and I could go to jail for trying to uh, poison a girl. So uh, bear that in mind. Anyway, um, hi Jack, what's my favorite color? Make sure to eat and drink. I actually do need a drink. I also need food. I'm quite hungry, but I'll, I'll, I'll eat after the stream's done. We still got all that. I still got a little bit of stream left in me. Mm. What's this say? Uh, me and my older sister were once making a den out of our beds with blankets, and my TV down and fell down and smashed. My mum found out and she wasn't mad. I'm still confused to this day because my TV wasn't even a cheap one. Because it was an accident, and like, realistically, she shouldn't be mad at you? Like, you shouldn't get mad with people over accidents. You should, you know, like, it's very reasonable. Like, it makes sense why we get mad, but, like, not at them. Like, like, you know, she's probably just a well, like, rounded person. It's a good thing, you know? What's this one? Green eggs. Oh, for some reason this won't... Oh, you put bitch in there and text speech won't read swears. Uh, you know that one 400 milligram edible Ted Niverson video? Well, I did and thought... Uh, well, I... What? Oh, you saw it and you thought it was a bitch boy. So being a medical MJ user, I took 200 milligrams thinking it would be easy. I went to hell and I think I had a seizure. It was fun, but I do not recommend. You know, Ted is a fucking strong fucking human being for being able to do... I don't know much about weed. I'm not a weed guy, but the fucking 400 milligrams I know full well is a lot of weed for the human body to kind of take and, and handle. Shelby, they give you the raid of 800. Sorry the alerts won't go off. We are like an hour behind on alerts because there's so many donos on this stream. Um, I, I, eventually what I might do is like catch them up or something and read through the backlog. Um, anyway, thank you Shelby so much for the 800. Appreci uh, raid of 800, appreciate it. Welcome people. Quistin, thank you for the prime. I've lost where we were in the donos, I'll be honest. We're like an hour back, I'm not even kidding. Oh, Kaylee, there we are, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm, here. Right, I'm gonna read another one. When I was younger, I used to steal from people like... They just put like at the end of that sentence, like a... Okay. When I was younger... Oh, no, no, sorry. Oh, no, I remember that one from the last stream. That was the last one we read on the last stream. Okay, Seven gonna... months. I'm Thank gonna... you for always being here through hard times, smiley face. Of course, no worries at all. Okay, uh, I'm gonna read this one. I confidently thought that time reset at midnight every day up until about 18 months ago. I'm almost 17. What does that mean? What do you mean you thought time reset? Like all of time ever? Like the dinosaurs come back? What do you mean? I. It makes. I mean, like, if you mean, like, 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 the time for the day resets, you're right. Like, at midnight, like, it goes back to being, you know, like, the start of the next day. So, I mean, like, you know, if you mean, like, the daily time, then yes. But I don't know what you mean is the problem. Uh, sorry, I, I, I've went behind. Um, someone has a dono saying, No one knows I'm the president of a used-to-be-popular Minecraft creative plot server. And all I do, and I do it all on a shit HP laptop with the screen falling off. Live my best life. You literally just did the fucking meme where the guy's in the corner of the party saying like, No one knows I'm a fucking niche internet micro celebrity. <laughs> just literally sat there with a drink. No one knows I used to be the president of a used to be popular Minecraft creative plot server. That's what you did. You, you are that meme. You just did that meme IRL. Well done. Fuck's sake. What's your favorite color? Like orange or blue? I can't make my mind up. Um, my dad was giving me a piggyback at Peppa Pig World, which is quite relevant, really. Um, I really needed the toilet, but didn't want to get off. Then my dad made me laugh, and I pissed all over his neck. I have a... Pause. What the fuck just happened to my voice? Guys, we will not clip that. 
Guys, that will stay here on this stream and it will just sit. It will sit. I got a sore throat. Leave me alone. Do I have mints in here? Oh, I do have some mints. Oh, no, I have some compliments from Dominion. I'm going to have a compliment to soothe me. Sound like a pig. Hey, again, relevant. Oh. Drop me mint on ground. Hold on. Fucking Sinner Saves just messaged and put it. This is how fucking sick he is. Right, you DM me on Twitch and put. If you take my VP VIP away, I won't complain. I'm not even a fan. I just joined because I was bored and because I have a small peen. And you know what? I won't take it away. And I hope that one day, genuinely, I can call someone as cool as you a fan. If you'd like to come back, I'd welcome you with open arms, Sinner Saves. I have no intention of taking away your VIP. You're a legend, man. Never forget it. Anyway. On to the next conversion. Katie. What are you saying? I was leaving a club one night, I broke into a church with friends and then ran from the cops. You've just confessed to crime. I hope they managed to tra- You know, it's like, why would you confess to crime that you got away with? You got away with the crime. And now you've in posted from your IP, which by the way, like, I can't see your IP, but I know Streamlabs collects it when you donate, right? Because I can IP ban people from donating. Meaning that if the police now want to research this, they could request your IP and find you. Meaning that you might not now get away with this crime. So I hope you were using a fucking VPN, man. OJ. <laughs> Literally. Fucking, someone put like, it's a fucking OJ Simpson effect. Confessing to a crime that you got away with. Fucking OJ Simpson bla blatantly murders his wife. Gets away with it because fucking Kim Kardashian's dad is like a fucking mega lawyer. Right? Fucking OJ Simpson then writes a book. This is a thing not many people know. OJ Simpson writes a book. He does two stupid things. Alright? One of them is, um, he simply writes a book called... If I did it, let me just double check that that is the title. Yep, it's called If I Did It. And it is a book detailing how he would have went about the murder given he had done it. Now, if, if, think about how fucking insane that is. Guy blatantly murders his wife, like blatantly, like, I mean, like, f like, fakes not being able to put a glove on his hand going, it couldn't have been me, I can't wear this glove, it doesn't fit my big hands, and it clearly fucking would have done. Like, does shit that obvious. And then writes a book called If I Did It, in which he details how he would have done. And it never goes back to court, by the way. OJ was never found guilty of that crime. You know why he went to jail in the end? Because he went... OJ Simpson was a famous, uh, I believe, baseball player, but I'm going to double check that. Um, let me just double check. What was he? Oh, no. American football player. My, my apologies. OJ Simpson was an American football player. Now, OJ Simpson didn't go to jail for killing his wife. But he did go to jail for stealing, for armed robbery. Now, you may think... Why would a man who got away with such a fucking publicized crime then go and test his luck by doing more? This is how stupid this crime was. OJ Simpson went to an NFL memorabilia museum. Right? Being a football player. He goes to an NFL memorabilia museum. Steals OJ Simpson memorabilia armed an armed robbery, bear in mind, and is caught on camera saying, give, he's wearing a mask, but he says, give me back my shit as he steals the OJ Simpson memorabilia. Needless to say, he went to jail for that one. <laughs> this is honest to God, the truth. As far as, uh, this is what I know anyway. This is the story as I know it. He was recently released within like the last few years, but I promise you, 
I promise you, as far as I'm aware, that is exactly what happens. He gets away with the fucking murder of the century, right? You know, a, a very famous man wor murders his fucking wife, right? His wife is killed. It, it, all evidence points to him and, and fucking Rob Kardashian, father of Kim Kardashian, fucking gets him off, right? And he unironically goes and steals his own stuff from memorabilia museum saying, give me my shit. And that, people, is OJ's. <laughs> oh. You ever seen the interview, um, Ali G? Did, uh, was it Ali G who interviewed um, OJ? And just keeps speaking about... Was it Ali G? Ali... No, it wasn't. It wasn't Ali G. It was, um, it was Sasha Baron Cohen, but it was as just like a random Italian character. Uh, I'll look it up. Sasha Baron... Sasha Baron Cohen OJ interview. Let's see if I can find it. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Actually, you know what? Let me introduce my friends. Yeah, I hope so. Let me try and find the bit I'm talking about. I'm so embarrassed. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me show you this. I'm so embarrassed. But they're funny movies. OJ, yeah, la, 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 la. He did an interview with Sasha Baron <laughs> So OJ doesn't know that this is Sasha Baron Cohen, right? And he does, he does like an interview uh, as uh, Gio Monaldo, who is like supposed to be like this Italian interviewer. It's complete bullshit. And he does shit like this throughout the entire interview. <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> This is a real thing that happened, by the way. Real thing. Real thing. No, he's not really Italian. It's Sasha Baron Cohen. He's just pretending. But, um... I, I fucking love that. Fucking just, just putting the guy on the spot, making him feel awkward. Fucking love shit like that. Anyway, this is just me. Sorry, I'll... I'll... I'll go back to reading confessions. I just, you know, I mean, hey, biggest confession of all time. You know, I'm talking about the biggest confession of all time here. So, you know, felt like it was relevant. Awesome face. Thank you for the three pounds. Um, when I was a kid, I made a Google account, but I didn't really know what I was doing. So I thought I hacked into someone else's account and the FBI was going to get me. But remember Mary, many sleepless nights worried about this, Lamau. Poor you, man. I was the same as a kid, like a really anxious kid who was just always worried about accidentally having done something wrong. Like... When I was in primary school, some kid uh, drew some art, and then some kid scribbled over it with a pencil. Um, and I sat next to the kid who had his art scribbled on in class. Um, and um, the teacher was like, right, own up. Who is it? No one would fess up. No one. She's like, right, I'm going to keep all of you inside at break time. You're not going to be able to go outside until, like, we get to the bottom of who it is. No one confesses. This goes on for like a week. This kid never confesses, right? And she's like, I'm going to get like the head teacher involved. And our head teacher was the softest guy. Like he was not scary at all. So I don't know why this scared me. But they were like, Collective punishment goes against the Geneva Convention. Yeah, no, I know. This goes on for like a week. We're not allowed outside break time. Or, or, or like first break. Because we had like two. It was primary school. So we had like two breaks and a lunch. Like, we had first break, lunch, and then second break. So, admittedly, like, you know, uh, we, we, you know, we, we did, we were, like, kept in once a day. It really was, like, for, like, 20 minutes. It really wasn't the worst. But, um, you know, anyway, kid never, never fesses up. I remember going home to my mum and crying, and she was like, what's wrong? And I'm like, what if it was me? And she was like, did you do it? I'm like, 
I don't know. Because I was so... Like, I was like, I, I couldn't comprehend that no one would have fessed up by this point. And I was like, I sit next to him. Maybe I was just like, I, I accidentally like, like in, like just having a pencil in my hand, like scribbled on it and didn't realize or like some shit. Like, I, I, you know, I sit next to him. It could have been. And I unironically like had convinced myself that it might have been me. Um, like I was the same as a kid. Like I used to get scared of like getting in trouble for shit. I just hadn't done, but I managed to convince myself I may have. Um, so yeah, that was my mum. I remember my mum like not laughing at me, but like laughing because she was like, "This, this is so silly. Like you obviously haven't done it." Uh, and she still to this day like like <laughs> tells me about that because she thinks it's funny. Uh, Danny, you thank you for the pound. I wrote that one about my friend's brother peeing in her mouth, and I'm not weird. I was around seven, and I went outside, and my friend's brother was trying to get to her. You know, so she. What? It was around seven. I, moved, I went outside. My friend's brother was trying to get her to, you know. What? I wrote the one about my friend's brother peeing in her mouth and I'm not weird. It was around seven and I went outside and my friend's brother was trying to get her to, you know, so she tried and then he peed. I did not expect any of that. Why have you put, you know, as if I know? I don't know. I don't know what getting her to you, you know, implies bad things for a younger than seven year old with his sister. I'm, please don't donate about that story anymore. <laughs> Unironically, that sounds like actually fucked up. That's some like childhood trauma shit, man. That shit ain't normal. Sweet home Alabama. The fuck? I, I actually, ugh. That's like fucked. Well, that's like actually fucked. Yeah, no, moving on. Um uh please name my daughter in Stardew Valley. Uh 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 Scremily. Like Emily, but Scremily. C R C S C R Emily. Scremily. <laughs> moving on. Thank you, Scremily, for the donor. What's this up, girl? Twenty two thousand? Made a typo. Now I'm aiming for it. We don't make accidents here. Only ha we don't make mistakes. Only happy accidents. And this one's gonna be a very happy one when we hit it. Um. Anyway, uh, Bryn Dav, thank you for the three quids. Uh, one time I peed in a cup when I was five and drank it, then threw up. Yep, that's because you drank your own piss, fella. Tastes bad. Only Bear Grylls can hack it, and that's because he's weird. I do not believe Hello, at Manifold. all that one man needs to drink his piss on television that much without getting be. some kick out of it, you know? Sorry, what was that? I personally think that being bold is the best way you can be. I totally agree, Charlotte. Thank you for being based. Hi, Jack. Hope you're seeing this. I am. That's why I've just read it out loud. Um, so I'm, okay, sorry if you get this twice, but once in primary school, like P1, I don't know what that is, uh, but there was this girl I hated, so I tried to make her eat one. Oh, no, no, I did see that one twice. All right, we'll move on from that one. Um, I thought I said Alex Elmsley. I thought, did fucking I'm Alex just donate that and like not say? Uh, sorry, someone donated with something with 18 months. Let's hear what it is. Happy 18 months. Here's a pee related confession because that's always the theme with these. It is for I some reason, actually. I went to pee in a bush, but I was drunk and I didn't notice the homeless guy in his tent oh, next to no. me. Oh no. He said hello to me mid pee smiley face. Oh, that's fine. I thought you pissed on him. Thank fuck. Oh god, if you just said hi to you while you're peeing, that's fine. That's the like it's a bit weird, but whatever. Is called Mansfield. I giggle every time I use the toilet. <laughs> I'm sorry you're wiping your ass on the, but why, man, you know what? Man, wiping your ass on that fucking Mansfield pack has got to be like wiping your ass on sandpaper. I'm so sorry. Fuck me, man. That's fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're poor asshole. Um yeah, no, that's not that bad. Just a, a bloke saying hi to you while you piss is like whilst in a drunken state outside in the streets, it's alright. It as long as you didn't piss on him. You know, unless he's Donald Trump, in which case he'd enjoy it, but that's okay. When I was little, my, do uh, my dog would feed me his dog food and I would eat it. And I drank a whole bottle full of hand sanitizer. Don't know how I'm still alive. Dog food is edible. It has to be because dogs have to eat it. Um, however, the hand sanitizer thing is a bit odd. How did the dog feed you his food? With a spoon? You go, meh, you go, He's like, here comes the airplane. You go, and then they go, and do that. He's like, in his mouth, he had a spoon. He go, 
How did he do it? What do you mean? Why submit your setup cycling through the chat? That's not a thing we're doing right now. Hold on. Why has Fossilbot got confused? And is sending people the link to... What? What command is on that allows people to do that? Um... What? How is that? Submit your setup. Oh, exclamation point form. Oh, we need to turn that off. Um, where is that? There we are. Anyway. Anyway, I've done it. Anyway. Uh, okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? More confessions, people. Munch, e munch. Thank you for the four extra pounds. Crispy bald today, Jackie smiley face. Thank you so much. I feel quite bald today. In a good way. I like this length of hair. This is a nice length. This is good. Oh, sorry. I, I was expecting it to read it and then it didn't. No confession, but can you give advice on how to get someone after a breakup? It's been three weeks and I still feel like I'm at square one. Um, knowing that it wasn't meant to be and there's nothing you can do to change it. Uh, uh, it's funny because uh, this is what I'm writing a song about. The sort of comfort... I, 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 fuck it, I'm going to uh, leak that now. Um, the kind of comfort you get in the sort of powerlessness. You know, like, you can't do anything at this point to change it. Right? It was for the best. Trust me. If you broke up, it wasn't meant to be. Take comfort in the fact that you cannot do anything. There is nothing to go... There's nowhere to go but forwards onto somebody else. And you may not be ready yet. But you'll move on for that person when you realize they really weren't the one. Anyway, I've got a text from Scott's Major. There we are. I messaged him back. I turned Benson on by accident. Anyway, uh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Schnitzel! Thank you for the three. Uh, I got hit in the head with a condom for the water in year seven and cried. The school let me go home. Balling. Do you mean balling your eyes out or like you were balling like you got to leave school early? Either way, congrats. Um, I don't know why you cried about the condom thing. But, hey, condom challenge, man. That was a thing back in the day. Remember the condom challenge? I never did it. I'm getting a slight urge to do the condom challenge right about now. Maybe I will. Who knows? Anyway. For a short period of time, when I was like 10, all I would eat was hamburger bun, cheese, and ketchup. My mum would yell at me to eat stuff else, but I really didn't care. You probably should have done. You need more nutrients than cheese, like like burger, cheese, bun, and ketchup. There's really not much nutrients in that. I hope you moved on. Your name is Chicken Fries, so I'm going to hope that you at least have tried that food, meaning that you have moved on, which is very nice to know. Matt! Thank you for the prime. I'm going to read a confession from the list now. Um... This one's very long. All right, I'll give this one a read. Jack Manifold, getter of bitches. I'm having love life issues. All right, you're already delusional, but we'll continue. Advice from his amazing bald headness is required. For years, I've lacked interest in anyone, though many have found romantic feelings for me. I've, that's a, 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 a... Wow. I mean, hey, good for you, man. I don't get that sort of fucking treatment. Anyway, I'm practicing the main source of love gossip for the people around me. I've been nicknamed the Ruby to others for a reason I'm not too sure the origin of. Usually, the harassment and confessions I get wouldn't matter, but now I have my first partner. Ah, okay. Interesting. How attractive are you? Fucking hell, man. The fucking Chad from the Chad memes is donating. Fucking Zendaya in chat. Zendaya, I know you may have a... Zendaya. Wait, they said they have a partner now. Zendaya has a partner now. Zendaya, please. Zendaya, if that's you. Zendaya. Zendaya, if that's you, um... Zendaya, um, I, my advice to you is uh, leave your current partner, Zendaya. Uh, I think there's probably a guy out there who could do be treat you better. Uh, and, he, and, and he looks kind of similar to the current guy, but he's kind of better. Uh, and he has a cool job. And, and yeah, he's, he, he would uh, be in love with you. So, uh, Zendaya, uh, uh, if you go to Instagram.com slash TV uh, and DM that guy, he's going to DM you back. Thank you, Zendaya. Anyway, uh, just in case this isn't Zendaya, I'm going to answer it um, for anyone else. Um, 
So I mean, I've been, I was so used to dealing with many people, always cashing obsessive like attractions toward me, and I've always been able to ignore the inappropriate things said to me about my uh, about me to my face and behind my back. I'm not one for big social groups. I'm an introvert at heart. But now that I'm dating someone with mutual friends between us who also like me romantically and have asked me out, I can't ignore it. I assume that says that kind of sucks because that's not your fault. And, and your friends should be more fucking like they should make more boundaries with their friends and go, hey, stop fucking flirting with my girlfriend, weirdos. Like Zendaya, if that was me. And my friends were flirting with you. I would lay down. I'd lay the fucking law down. I'd lay down the laws of the land. Right? My friends would not be doing that to you, Zendaya. Anyway. <clears throat> I've been my partner for a year now, but I'm considering breaking up with them because I can't deal with the world of boyfriend-girlfriend drama that I've gotten the chance to ignore nearly my whole school life. And now I'm not sure how to deal with the situation. I feel guilty to want to break up with my partner over this, but I feel for my mental health if this continues on. Partner isn't being the most supportive of this problem. Complaining about the amount of inappropriate behavior and romantic confessions directed towards me that I can't control. Oh, yeah, that's kind of fucked. They're blaming it on you. It's not really your fault. Uh, I'm concerned as to what my actions would be. Prevent a fight between my friends due to jealousy and break up with my partner, or let the tension build until everyone hates each other and let them uh, and I'm left to pick up the pieces. If you choose to make new friends, I'm afraid the cycle will continue. I'm so sorry you're so fucking attractive, man. That is that is shit. I always wished I was more attractive, and now you're making me think otherwise. That is fucked, man. Um, hmm. That's hard. Honestly, I, I'm a very, very big advocate of it is a, uh, 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 it was it's ill justice to both you and your partner to stay with them if you don't want to be with them, even if they will be sad about it. You don't. No one should be with a person that doesn't want to be with them. Ultimately, um. So I think if you really do want to break up with them, you should do it. Um, you know. If that if they're not being very them being not supportive means actually you kind of have reason to as well Like it's not like they're a good person that you just kind of want to leave because you're not happy Which is valid, but ultimately shitty. You still should do it in my opinion, but it is shitty They're kind of being shitty themselves. So you kind of have your reasoning. So I'd say fuck it. Just go ahead with it um, I'm kind of sorry that kind of sucks. Yeah, but yeah long term it is the best thing to do anyways On to more donations Ushi when I was little, my dog would feed me his... Oh, I, we got that one already. We got a next one. There it is. Socks and stuff. Thank you for the donor. Confession You're a regular time. here, so I'm I curious. bought a ukulele for you in prep for TwitchCon and ended up not going, so now I just have a random ukulele in my bedroom. The problem appears when my mother asked me why I have a ukulele when I cannot play. I said I could play. <laughs> I can't Absolutely. play. Why would you get one for me? I can't play either. I have one. I have two actually. I have the Tubbo one and then I have the one that I bought. And I can't play. I don't need a third. I mean, I appreciate it. It really is sweet. I I, I, I just say learn to play because like I can only play a little bit of one song. Uh, is it tuned? I want to see if it's tuned now. I want to play a little song. Oh, okay, it's not far off. Let me tune it. What's the first string supposed to be again? I forgot. Eh, G? Okay. Ugh. That sounded like it was going to break the string. Fuck. I'm quite bad at this. It's tuned. Next one.
Okay. No, that isn't, that isn't right. Okay, that's alright. I got it, I got it. That took way too fucking long, I apologize. The only thing I can play, genuinely, is... Can you hear that? I realize it's probably hard to hear. I'm not very good at it. Whoa. It, ironically, the only song me and George Not Found can play on ukulele, because we started learning at the same time and both went for the first song. That it, It's really odd, but... It's kind of all a bit off because I'm not very good at the finger bit. I'm not very good at like, like, so it's, it's. I can do the strum pattern, but then doing this, I find really difficult. Like, like flattening these, I got to flatten all three strings along here and I find that really hard. Like, always one of the string sounds. It's then this. I can't do it. Place your wait. What, what, someone said play with your finger instead of your thumb. Sounds more crisp. Yeah, I know, but but I I don't. So do you accept the ukulele? I'll take it, but I I can't really play. Use three fingers. Yeah, but that's really hard. One of them still sounds off. Wait, let me turn up the two now. Yeah, I, I, I'll be honest, I can't do it. I know that, but... I wanted to learn it because I wanted to sing it, but I really struggled. But it'd be like... I looked at you and said... Oh, oh, oh... Don't hate me... Am I crazy... So tenderly... I, I know the song. I can sing the song, but I wanted to try and sing it, but I couldn't really do it. But um, it's the... I can do the first part, the... I looked at you and said... Oh, no. Uh, you see, I can't sing and play at the same time. That's way too hard. I looked... Wait, I... I looked at you and said... Oh, oh, oh. Don't hate me. Am I crazy? But yeah. One day I'll know how to do it, but I haven't practiced in fucking ages, so that'll be why I still can't. Anyway, Ricky Honk, leave you the prime. Let's get back to confessions. Uh, I keep getting distracted. Um, oh, you know what? There's no confessions for a little while. Let's find one on the list. Um, when I was a child, I hated taking my vitamins, so I would hide them wherever I could, in my drawers, in the couch cushions, behind the TV, in the art supplies, etc. I never went back for them. Well, I'm moving out of this house as an adult now, and know that when I clean everything out, I will find them all again. The challenge is getting to them before my parents do. That's really funny. I also like the fact that no one yes, ever discovered them between then. Smiling face. That is funny. Thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate it. Um, when I was 47, I would eat rocks, like handfuls of rocks. That must have hurt coming out again. Um... I have this weird obsession with dirt. The smell, the taste, and the feel. If you don't like dirt, you're weird. I kind of get the smell and the feel. The taste, however... Mm, I don't know. I kind of like when potatoes taste earthy, though. And that's kind of dirt, isn't it? So maybe. I like earthy vegetables. Maybe I like dirt. I'm going to have to think about that. You've given me a... You've given me a lot to think about. Sivvy Rocker, thank you for the gifted sub. 
Dirt mesh, but dirt meh, but sand. No, sand's fucked up. I hate sand, man. When I was in primary school, my friends locked me in storage room and I pissed myself there because I could go out into the bathroom and I just hand a hoodie around my waist and pretend that never happened. That's that sucks. No, that's not fair. Your friend, you had shit friends. That's really fucked. I'm sorry for you. That's like really rude. That's really, really fucking rude. Doesn't the music video you're in come out today? No way, really? Wait, does it? I'm in two music videos, so I don't know which one you're talking about, but I think I know because I only spoke about one of them. I didn't know I was getting in. I, I record, I've recorded for two videos and both of them never got released, so I just thought they were getting cancelled. And then I got news from both of them recently that they're getting posted. Um... Wait. Oh! In 21 minutes. Well, guys, I guess we're going to be live for another 21 minutes uh, because I want to watch this music video on stream. You, you'll know the song. I'm not going to... Some people will know because I spoke about it on stream before, but I'm, I'm not going to say it because you'll know the song. Um, you'll know the song. It was pretty... Pretty popular. Thank you for the 100 bits, uh, uh, George. Uh, let me read what that says. Uh, when I was little, my... Uh, no, I, I, we've had that like three times now. Um, Madison Joseph, thank you for the five months. Five months, fearful face, fearful face. Thank you. Also, thank you for telling me about the music video. I had no idea it was coming out today. All right. I'm, I put notifications on. We're going to be watching it. James Marriott. No, it's, 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 I don't know the person making the song, weirdly. I realize that is odd. I know a friend of the person who made the song. Um, and I, I like, literally at the time, I'd never heard of them. And, 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 and I, I was just like, I'll, I'll do a music video for someone. That sounds kind of cool. Uh, and next thing you know, the song went fucking crazy. And I was like, shit. And then I, I checked and the music video hadn't came out. Uh, and it's coming out today. So, um, is it Baby No Money? It isn't, though, um... He might, he might get mad at me for this, but keep it between me and you, chat. There is a music video coming out that Baby No Money did that apparently I did make it into. Because I filmed a little bit for a Baby No Money music video when I was with him. Uh, and we weren't sure whether I was going to make it in. Um, it'll be probably right at the very end, because I do a lot of talking, and I realize you can't put that in the music video. But, um, yeah, if, if Baby No Money drops it, I think it should be coming out soon, because he messaged me about it the other day. Um, keep it between us, but I think... Um, Baby No Money, new music video should have me in it uh, at some point. But um, that isn't tonight. Tonight's a different one. Anyways! Let's move on. Uh, why did I say anyways with such a gruff voice? I'm like, I was like, Minx! And I, 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 oh, I did it so well the other day. I did the Austin. Minx! That was it. It's Minx! Minx! That's my impression of Austin. Anyway. Oh, yeah, it was literally the donor that fucking alerted me. Anyway, I got a long one here. It said, here's a story. Years ago, I lived with my mum and siblings in the middle of nowhere, Texas, in a rundown mobile home, surrounded by forests with a single clearing that you could drive through. One time when I was alone there, my mum and siblings went to the store. I was sitting in the kitchen, the only place in the house that got some phone service. The kitchen had this glass sliding door that faces the clearing. And out of the corner of my eye, I see someone walking to the house. I go to my room and get the axe that I used to cut down dead trees. I don't know why my mum let 14-year-old me have an axe. And I go to the back of the kitchen um, to try and call my mum. No answer. I go to the another part of the house where I can see the clearing through some blinds and I don't see anyone. So I go back to the kitchen for a bit to keep trying to contact someone. Uh, I go to my room and I get the axe that I used... Oh, no, sorry. The person knocks on the glass door. I hadn't seen them walk up. It's a lady. She sees me with the axe beside me. I think she thought I was homeless. The house was in shambles, and she sees this teenage girl in very loose fitting PJs with an axe. And she explains what happened. Uh, and she explains what happened. Her trunk, her truck broke down uh, down the road, and she needs some help. I'm obviously terrified, and she offers to let me. P, it just says the letter P. Is there more? She offers to let me, and then it just says the letter P. Don't know what it was. Offers to let me. P I let her in because I trust her at this point, and this lady starts doing the massive pile of dishes in the sink. I keep trying to call someone. Now to get help for this lady, and, and the only person nearby who I can reach is this creepy guy my mum cheated on my dad with and had a son with. So eventually he gets here, and he starts yelling at this lady who's been nothing but kind to me. Start defending her, and he begrudgingly gives us a ride to her truck and helps 
start it, so let's put some gas in it. I can't remember what's wrong with the truck exactly. Uh, so eventually he, uh, wait, uh, we said our goodbyes and my mum got us back an hour later, clueless to everything that happened. That sounded like the plot of a horror movie for like the longest time. It's like some Jeepers Creepers bullshit and then like, it ended up just being like, quite wholesome? I think. That, that, I've never, that might be the plot of Breaking Bad. I'm, I'm very confused. Anyway, let's just move on to the next one from Hortum Adinus, who Jack. says, 16 months. 16 months, very nice. It is almost your 20th birthday, so that means that it's almost hey, my 20th nice. birthday. Happy Good birthday to us. you, man. Best of, best of wishes. I have, let's see if I can find another one. Someone just confessed, I get no bitches. <laughs> Bro, same. Um, what? What? This one got approved by the mods, but it, it seems quite hefty. So it says trigger warning at the start, but then doesn't say what for. So just bear that in mind. I used to sell weed and other prescription drugs. Ah, a drug dealing manifolder. Didn't think I'd see the day, but what, you know, I hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, one time I had a customer who asked how much I would charge if he was to buy everything I had. So I him he couldn't buy everything I had since I had other customers. He proceeded to berate me, but left momentarily. A few days later, he... Oh. Oh. Never mind, that's just really fucking dark. Mods, things that dark, please don't approve in the future. Entry 950. Stuff like that should not... It was quite bad. It, it was quite bad. They... Admittedly, look, I, I get the impression that they didn't do anything maliciously, but it was quite bad. Um, I, I, I think they can be forgiven, but that was a bad thing. Anyway, let's, uh, let's find something a little bit more wholesome. Alex, please tell me this is nicer. Um, yeah, we, we, we had this one already. You know what? I'm just going to read some from the list now. Uh, how long we got till uh, the thingy? 15 minutes. Okay, we got 15 minutes. Let's find 15 minutes more. Uh, okay, I babysit kids in my neighborhood from time to time, but I had the grand misfortune of babysitting these two little girls on April Fool's Day. But the oldest had the idea of putting melted chocolate on the toilet seat to prank her parents. She told me and her mother it was to put on her ice cream. I find her spreading it on the toilet with a knife and um, the most devilish smile uh, I've ever seen. Panic courses through uh, my veins, but everything... Oh, wait. I feel like the, the Excel spreadsheet is, like, cutting off some of these, which is really frustrating. Oh, I... Fuck, wait, hold on. I can make these. This is really long. Wait, hold on. Let me, I need to make the document like bigger. I need to like extend the, the, the box so I can read it all. Give me two seconds. Panic courses through me at the speed of rival light, but I keep my face calm. But there's chocolate on the fucking toilet seat. Hold on. Oh, they won't let me stretch it anymore. Okay. The this is too long. I actually cannot read it. Like, it literally is that that long. Hi, Jack. Oh, no. Uh, let's not do a long one at this point. Uh, so, I've been friends with this girl for about a year now, and I would consider her one of my best friends ever. She's got me through so much this year, like, a crazy ex and even mental health issues. I've recently realized that I have the biggest crush on her, but she's told me many times before that she's straight. But I've been getting some hints recently. Uh, that, and I believe she's a little bit gay pride emoji flag. Sparkly emoji as well. Recently, I've been wondering if I should tell her, and I was wondering if you think I should. You can tell her. That's fine. Just, if she turns around and still affirms you that she's straight, you can't be mad. Because, you know, can't be mad at people being fucking straight, man. Sorry. Um, but at the same time, you, you know, you can, you can tell her that. Maybe she has discovered some things about herself. And if you're getting that idea, you know, maybe go for it. Maybe just mention it. See how she feels. Maybe you could be her gay awakening. Who knows? Anyways, on to the next one. Turn the donos back on. See if I get any through. Uh, I kind of hate my best friend because I she's been blowing. Hate oh, my best sorry. friend because she's been blowing me off for weeks. BC of her new BF, and we used to hang out a lot. Now we barely talk. WTF? Do I do, girly? I'm mad. I don't know. Tell, uh, confront her about it, and if she doesn't change, then I guess you just become distant. Nothing you can do about it, really. Sucks, but it is what it is. I 
I called Phil's and my father in front of my parents by accident and had a very conversation with them about that mistake. Alrighty then. Someone, wait, what was that? Uh, I got food poisoning from the Nando's the night uh, from Nando's the night before a flight. I ironically shat my pants at the airport. It got caught in my, my pants, but I had to waddle to the bathroom in shame. That does suck, and that makes me fearful because I religiously eat a Nando's every time before I fly. Because I know you can't get Nando's anywhere but the UK. Well, maybe you can, but like I've never been able to get it in any of the places I've been going. So I know like it will be my last time to have Nando's for a bit. So I get a Nando's before I fly. And now I'm scared of that shit happening, because what if I have a bad Nando's? You made me fearful, damn it! Like, and I eat spicy Nando's as well. Like, uh, you know, I'm a fucking spice- I'm a, I'm a spice head, not in the traditional Mansfield sense. You get Nando's in Australia? Yeah, but I'm, I've never been going there. I imagine you can get it in South Africa, hopefully. It's South African food. Anyway, next one. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I'm, I have to read this. God, I have to do my fucking job. I have to read this one. I was made an entire year of five-year-olds believe I could move things with my mind. That's pretty fucking cool. Maybe you can. You don't know that. You've just not unlocked it yet. Keep trying. When I was about six, I used to play GTA 5 with my cousin. Once I left me unsupervised, so I switched to Trevor, and he spawned slash was in the club. I was near the stage and got in trouble when they came back, of course. Thank you, distant cousin. I'm now a lesbian. What a strange gay awakening. Trevor from GTA 5 being in the club. Glad glad it happened, I guess. My dad kicked me out when I was 11 for very messed up reasons. I'm now I'm almost 15 now and I haven't seen him since. That's not a confession. That is a trauma dump. I'm sorry, but not the place, man. It's just kind of sad. Zuzak. Uh, when I was 7, my dad played me all the Jurassic Park films, which traumatized me. So now, ever since that day, every nightmare I have is with dinosaurs or some kind of Godzilla-looking ass mutants. I'm 19, by the way. Still wake up shaken from these. I'm sorry he gave you an irrational fear of dinosaurs. I got really scared of Chucky for similar reasons because I just kept seeing posters and pictures of him at a young age and then someone explained to me that he was a murderous doll. And I was like, fuck! And not only is this doll creepy, it might kill me! And I got scared of Chucky at a young age. And now it took me until I was about... I don't know, 17, 18 to get over that shit. Um, it was... Uh, you know what it was? When, when did, Actually, tell you what. Um, when did... When did that movie come out? 2019. It's 2019 I got over it. When the reboot movie came out, I realized Mark Hamill was voicing him, and I, I'm a big Mark Hamill fan. I was like, I can't be scared of Mark Hamill. It's Mark Hamill. I love that guy. And then I, I totally just fucking got over it. Like, having it diminished to being like... Like, I think in my head it was so real, like, irrationally real, like, even though it wasn't, because, like, they sold it as, like, a toy and shit. But I think having it reduced to being something voice acted by Mark Hamill, like, I was like, wait, that's, it's Mark Hamill. What the fuck am I being scared for? And I just got over it. And like genuinely, like, and it used to be to the point where like, it's crazy how fast the human brain can process information. Because I could, I, I could like scroll through a feed like this. I could just like, be like, 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 I could just be like on, like, if I just look up like blue on Google Images, right? I could unironically be like doing this. I could be going like, like, like this, right? Like, uh, uh, start, like this. I could just be going like that, right? Not really looking at any of the images, just kind of scrolling. And I swear to God, if Chucky appeared in that search result... I wouldn't even consciously recognize it. I just get this sinking feeling of fear. And I guarantee you, every time I did it, if I scrolled back up, he would be there. I swear to you. Just like that. Just like that. It was fucking wild. Right? Like, I, 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 like the, the human brain can process information subconsciously so quick. Like, so, so, so quick. Like, I just would be able to just go, I've seen him, haven't I? And then I scroll up and I have. Every time. Every time. It's fucking weird. Um, it, it, it was a really weird, like, you know, um, learning thing. And then uh, this YouTube I really like, Mr. GG, made a bunch of, um, made a bunch of videos about, um, some of the Chucky movies. And I just, like, realized, oh, they're kind of silly, actually. Um, you know. Anyway. Um, on to the next. Don't know. Just joke. Thank you for the uh, 254. I one time ate a living frog. Got so sick I had to go to the hospital. Never ate a frog again. Logical. Yeah, that's a logical conclusion to jump to. Didn't taste good. And the fact that I did it while with, with my parents left me alone for like a second doesn't make it any better. It really doesn't, man. That is... Dude. 
Why would you do that? That must have been awful to eat. It has little bones and shit. Like, you must have crunched through it. Did you eat it bones and all? Like, or did you eat... Oh, just the whole thing. Like, you just bit into a living creature. Also, that's fucked up. It You killed it with your fucking mouth. That's, like, animalistic as fuck, man. You're vile. Is Sneeg in chat? Someone said Sneeg. Oh, Sneeg song. Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, no, I'm gonna uh, order from Good Burger Kitchen. They ironically do very good hot dogs, and I want one. Good Burger Kitchen hot dog. The New York dog. Frankfurt. None of that tofu bullshit. Add. Sides. Hmm. I'm gonna get me some... Fuck off! Fuck off! They got rid of the curly fries at Good Burger Kitchen! They were one of the best bits! Their curly fries were unmatched! Now I'm gonna eat regular fucking- f Oh, fuck off! Curly fries are so fucking good compared to regular fries. Curly fries are so superior. And they're healthier as well. They're-, they're Bastards! I just splat a fucking globule of spit. I'm so sorry. I, you probably saw that green globule without a splat. That's spat. That's disgusting. I'm really, really sorry about that. You got some peri peri skinny fries. Fuck it. It's about as good as I'm going to get. Fuck off, man. Oh, and you can get cheesecake. Fuck yes. I love cheesecake. And cannot forget the Fanta Orange. All right. So I'm ordering it now because... Um, I'm ordering it now because uh, <laughs> it closes in six minutes, and I, I don't—I I, want to eat it. Like, I actually really want some hot dog, and I don't want it to close before I can order it. I ordered it on stream. That makes it—that makes it a business expense. I'm pretty sure. It's part of the content. It's part of the content, man. Me eating food is part of the content, man. Definitely can order that food as a business expense. Definitely, hundred percent. Definitely can. Guys, be sure to tell my accountant and the tax people that this was a business expense and it's valid. Guys, you're all my re you're all my reference for the fact that I can put this through the business and not pay tax. Anyway, five minutes till the music video. Let's read a couple more of these. When I was younger, I used to catch butterflies and then kill- What the fuck? I used to kill them with a rock. I'm not a psychopath. They just scare me so much, I had to kill them. Oh, I was about to call you out, but actually, I'm the same with spiders. They scare me that much. I just can't handle, like, taking them outside. I just, like, I can quickly kill them to get rid of them, and that's about it. So, I kind of... I also... I, I drowned a wasp yesterday. So, I, I... Anything that scares me suffers my fucking wrath. So, I'll be honest. Yeah, I can't really call you a psycho either. Like, I, I, a wasp flew into my house, so I was... I just had a jug of water at the time. I was like, oh, and just poured it on the wasp. And then... I left it on cardboard and went to put it in the sink, but like for a moment I made eye contact with it and saw it kind of wriggle like it was still alive but struggling and for the first time ever I felt remorse for something I'd killed and then I just flushed it down the sink and moved on. But um, you know. Butterflies are good, like they're beautiful little creatures though, I don't know why you'd do it to a butterfly, like moths I get, I fucking hate moths, but you know. Yeah, I felt pretty bad, but then I, you know, got over it. Flush it down the sink, yeah, you know, like, like flush it with water, not like a toilet flush, but like, you know, like use water to flush it down, you know? But yeah. Sometimes I let Scott's cat eat the spiders for me. I like that cat now. We used to be enemies, but now we're friends. She like she misses me when I leave, and we sometimes play with each other. I like that cat. I like to eat the skin that I like hands off the side of my fingernails. It tastes good. No, it doesn't. There's not enough for it, for it to taste, but it's a habit that lots of people have. You're not too strange. It's a bad habit, though. It's not very good for your skin, so you should stop. But it's not that weird. Um... So, but I ate one of those squishy Orbeez as a kid, and my fr face and throat swelled up, and I almost died, but I was too embarrassed to tell my mum. So this day, she thinks something else caused it. You know what? As long as you got the medical attention you needed, you can save yourself the embarrassment. That's fine. As long as you went to her and went, I've eaten something bad, that's you, you're okay. I'll, I'll, I'll forgive you. Uh, someone said, can you say hi to Pancake, my kitten, please? He's watching right now. Hello, Pancake. You can be the other cat that likes me. Cats generally hate me, but Scott's like me, and, and uh, Rihanna's cat, Toph, likes me. You can be the third. I said second, I meant third. Uh, I searched up really big boobies on Safari on my dad's phone while sitting on his lap at the pharmacy when I was around eight or nine years old. <laughs> no fucking shame, man. Bro wanted to see really big boobies and didn't care who went along with him for the journey. 
That's curiosity at its finest, man. I wonder if you can... Hold on. I wonder what happens if you look up really big boobies on Safari. Ah! Guys! Guys! Do not look up really big boobies on Safari! You're gonna see something you do not expect to see! Actually, realistically, you probably- I probably should have expected that, but, um... I'm keeping my call. Cool. I'm keeping my call. Cool. Gonna leave that there, searched up on my phone. After the stream. Can't look at the phone till after the stream. I'm gonna... We're gonna... Keep, remind me, chat. If you see me on my phone, tell me off. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking guys. I didn't really Google really big boobies. That would be wrong. That would be wrong of me. I wouldn't do that. I looked up um really big glo gloobies. I looked up really big gloobies. I didn't I didn't search it. I didn't search it. I didn't do it. All right, I just didn't do it. Let's just move on. Anyway, ah, uh, someone just confessed. I don't want to become an adult. That, aw, it'll be fine. Don't worry. Trust me, I've had the most fun in my life since I became an adult. People are always scared of it because of responsibilities and stuff. And trust me, I and a lot of people will say, "Oh, you have it easy because you have it like uh, you have this job and like uh, you know you could enjoy being an adult." I also worked in an IT job and and still had fun as an adult. Like, trust me. Me and my friends started hanging out more. We started just chilling like outside of school and stuff. Like, it'll be fine. I, I have p fond memories of school and there's things I miss, but trust me, you're okay. Responsibilities are fine. You will, you will live. It's stressful at times. Don't get me wrong. Definitely it's scary. I still get scared because I still sometimes realize, shit, I have to deal with this myself. But you don't, realistically. You, you, you just have to like, you know, you just have to be like, just ask for help if you need it. You are allowed as an adult. Like, it's fine. What about taxes? Get an accountant if you need. Mo most jobs will pay your taxes for. If you have a normal job, your tax will come out your salary. You don't have to pay it yourself. Or, well, in the UK, you don't. I, I think in the US, you still have to all. I think everyone files their taxes, which is fucking insane. Oh, the music video starts in two minutes. Okay, we've got two minutes till the music video, people. Um, don't worry, there's a two minute countdown. We'll, we'll start watching it in two minutes. But yeah, you'll, um, you'll, you will be fine. Uh, in America, I realize you have to do it yourself, but, um, you know, it's not too hard. I, I've done... I haven't filed my taxes completely myself. I have an accountant who's a fucking legend. He makes my job so much easier. Saves me a lot of time. Um, but, uh, you know, you'll be fine. Don't stress. You'll be okay. Trust me. I, I was. And I was... I was someone who I would say was relatively sheltered growing up. So really didn't have much... Ex I, I can hardly cook. Uh, I, 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 I taught, I, I got here and was like, Mom, how do I use a washing machine? Like, I, I was so shocked. My mom did everything for me. And when I moved, I was, I am fine. I've survived for nearly a year now. I'm okay. Like, I've, I'm been good. I know how to cook little bits of food now. I can wash my own stuff. I, I keep track of my own schedules. Like, don't be wrong. It's weird, but you can do it. And trust me, most people are not as sheltered as I was. You probably have done more. You've probably done more household chores and stuff. You probably are way more prepared than I was. I mean that. I, I, I had hardly any social life. Like, I didn't really leave the house much. Like, I promise you. I, I really have only started having a life within the past two years. And I'm living it well. Like, I'm doing good. You probably had a life for longer than me. You'll be fine. I promise you. There was no one more ill-equipped than me. So you're all good. You are fine. Trust me. Bye-bye. Hit the mic. Bye.